Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Marvel. I become stronger by writing a diary every day. Chapter 1. 2008. Beacon Country, New York, within the headquarters of the Stark Group. Tony Stark was looking at the Stark Group's financial report for this year's quarter that his assistant Pepper had sorted out. He only glanced at it twice, but he didn't have any interest. Originally, he had no interest in this kind of general affairs. For a long time, it has been handled by Uncle Opadry and Assistant Pepper Pepper. He only needs to be in charge of the main direction, and he is also the leader of the scientific research department. Now in the entire Stark group, the most profitable weapons and projects are basically developed by his representatives. This is also the reason why those shareholders can tolerate him when he doesn't take much care of things, eats, drinks, and enjoys life everywhere. Suddenly, suddenly, a diary appeared in front of him. Yes, just like that, it appeared in front of me out of thin air. He rubbed his eyes, and it did appear out of nowhere, and suddenly appeared in front of him like this. J-A-R-V-I-S, scan the entire office for anything unusual. Tony Stark said immediately. The scan is complete, sir, no abnormalities were found. The voice of J-A-R-V-I-S came. How can it be? Tony Stark stared in shock at the notebook that appeared without warning. Could it be some kind of magic? This sudden diary made him feel that his three views were blown up. How could such a thing happen? The materialistic worldview was blown up. Thinking of this, Tony Stark quickly said, J-A-R-V-I-S, scan this notebook. Scanned, just Common's notebook, sir. The voice of J-A-R-V-I-S came again. Tony Stark breathed a sigh of relief then picked up the notebook in front of him, only to find that it was the diary of a person named Luo Chen. Luo Chen, Chinese, judging from the style of this name, it is obviously an Asian style of East Asia, which looks like Chinese. But then he saw the contents of the diary, and his face turned dark immediately. June 6, the weather is fine today, waiting for the first day of Tony Stark's kidnapping. June 7, the weather is cloudy today, waiting for the day after Tony Stark was kidnapped. June 7, Xiao Yu, waiting for the third day of Tony Stark's kidnapping, Luo Chen, Luo Chen, you can't continue to degenerate, you have to work hard. Struggle, wait for Tony Stark to be kidnapped, buy a wave of stocks at a low price, and sell them after he turns to new energy, and he will earn his life's expenses. Who will work hard? Quote. On June 8, I suddenly remembered that an alien traveler like me should have attracted the attention of Ancient One, probably not. Even if there was any change, it should be Kong who came to me the first time. June 9th, I'm so speechless. Why did I come to such a dangerous world? In the future, that purple potato spirit will snap his fingers. How can I survive? Do I have to count on the Avengers Alliance? The diary has recorded here, Tony Stark's face is extremely ugly. The diary begins by cursing him for being kidnapped, and waiting for him to be kidnapped. It seemed as if it was heralding something to him again. Sir, I think you really need to increase your security forces. At the moment, the voice of J-A-R-V-I-S appeared at the right time. Tony Stark squinted his eyes, he thought about it, usually in his mansion, or in the company, the security force of the Stark group is quite sufficient, and there is no problem with normal entry and exit. But he, Tony Stark, is not a law-abiding person. He eats, drinks, prostitutes and gambles everywhere, and he is full of five poisons. At this time, he usually only brings one bodyguard, which is happy. At this time, he is the most insecure its time. How unsafe this country is, just from the fact that tens of thousands of people die from shootings every year, at the moment, even Tony Stark, who has always been fearless, finally started to feel a little scared at this time. I see, Tony Stark was a little bit reconciled, but as a top rich man and one of the masters behind the scenes of this world, he would not easily joke about his own safety. But a thought suddenly popped up in his mind, if this world is so dangerous, why not make a battle armor to protect himself? Tony Stark first pressed the thoughts in his heart, and began to analyze the contents of this diary. If it was just a diary picked up by the side of the road, he wouldn't care at all, but this diary suddenly appeared in front of him, showing a supernatural side. This made him pay attention to the contents of the diary. Especially when it had to do with his safety. J-A-R-V-I-S, create a brand new file named Luo Chen. Tony Stark said. 
Okay sir, a new file has been created. JARVIS is still very fast. Make a hypothesis, if the person represented by this notebook is not a common person, and behind it represents some kind of supernatural ability, such as magic, witchcraft, or Cthulhu, whatever, this mysterious existence, why did this notebook appear in front of me? Maybe for what? Tony Stark stroked the mustache on his chin and muttered to himself. Is it a warning, or is it to achieve some kind of goal? Tony Stark thought about it, if the person behind the scenes really existed, then suddenly placing this notebook in front of him was either kind to him, warning him that someone was going to attack him recently. Or is it unfriendly to him, trying to scare him with the help of a notebook, such as asking him to cancel a certain trip, so that some projects fail and some businesses cannot be won. It's all possible, putting aside the fact of why the other party could do such an outrageous thing, the rest, Tony Stark thought about it, and he didn't know where the problem was. And the person behind the scenes is someone else, or is this Luo Chen? This was also what Tony Stark suspected. J-A-R-V-I-S, do you know what this time traveler means? Tony Stark asked. According to the information I searched on the internet, the general sense of time traveler is the title of the protagonist in some novels or comics after he travels to the other world, sir. J-A-R-V-I-S replied. That is to say, if a hypothesis is set up, and the things said in this diary are true, then this Luo Chen is also the so-called time traveler. Speaking of this, Tony Stark's eyes suddenly flashed a sharp color. So that means, the world we are in now may be the world of a certain story. After Tony Stark got this conclusion, he immediately felt extremely absurd, what the hell kind of conclusion is this? Just thinking that his world might be a fake, a certain story, he felt that his three views were about to blow up. If this matter is put on anyone, they will feel that their three views have completely exploded. Sir, regarding this matter, I am more inclined to say another way. It may be that some stories in our world are projected into the mind of the author of another parallel universe due to some unknown triggers. J-A-R-V-I-S open your mouth and say. So you tend to think it's true, too? Tony Stark asked. I don't have any judgment, just an analysis based on the existing situation. J-A-R-V-I-S continued to say calmly. It's not that Tony Stark can't accept his own world, it may be a story written by others. Although this subverts the three views for him, but this huge world is under science, um, and there is something beyond science that happened just now. Situations can happen. He just couldn't accept that his character and knowledge were all obtained through his own efforts, and the results might all be given by others. For him who has always been proud, even arrogant, this is simply unacceptable. Well, let's not talk about whether our world is a story written by others. Let's make an assumption first. Assuming this thing exists, then my kidnapping is likely to be something that happens in the future. Tony Stark immediately with judgment. And once I'm kidnapped, the stock price of Stark Group will definitely plummet, and he will take the opportunity to absorb it, and after I don't know why I turn to the development of new energy, he will pull up the stock again, and he will be able to make a lot of money by selling it. Yes sir, from the contents of the notebook, it seems that it is so. J-A-R-V-I-S replied. Since he is so sure, I will definitely be kidnapped, and he also made a plan to use my kidnapping to make a lot of money in the future. It doesn't look like a fake, Tony Stark said after a moment of silence. However, the only good news is that this kidnapping should have been safe for me, and I even turned to new energy because of it. It seems that I should have made a lot of progress in the development of new energy. Tony Stark has never doubted his ingenuity. He used to mainly study arms, but new energy is not completely untouched. If he turns to new energy, there should be a big breakthrough soon. And what he said, this is a dangerous world, obviously it shouldn't be about such a trivial thing as me being kidnapped. Tony Stark said, J-A-R-V-I-S, create a brand new file, file name, world crisis, since he specifically mentioned that this world is dangerous, in the future, we are likely to encounter some dangers, for example, that purple sweet potato essence, and that purple yam Jing snapped his fingers, I don't think he really snapped his fingers, but something dangerous. Okay sir, the file has been created. J-A-R-V-I-S said. Also, search for Luo Chen in the whole world's network and rule out all possibilities. Tony Stark said. Please wait, came the voice of J-A-R-V-I-S. A moment later, 
the reply from JARVIS appeared. According to all the information that can be retrieved, one person named Luo Chen in the world who meets the relevant possibility has been selected. He grew up in an orphanage in New York and just graduated from university this year. Come out, his identity and procedures are complete, but there is only one problem, there are relatively few traces of his related life, so the probability that he is the so-called time traveler is very high. Go to him right away. Tony Stark felt a severe headache just after saying this, and it took him a long time to recover. Tony Stark immediately realized that something was wrong, and then said, as long as I have the idea of going to find this Luo Chen, I will feel severe pain. I am afraid it is some kind of mechanism, a mechanism to protect Luo Chen, that prevents me from going to him. Tony Stark quickly accepted this mysterious setting, and realized that his headache must be directly related to his desire to find Luo Chen. Sir, it seems that this mysterious existence is stronger and more powerful than we imagined. J.A.R.V.I.S. replied. Since there is no way to find him for the time being, let's do everything possible to monitor him. Tony Stark held a diary in his hand, thinking in his eyes. If I can't go to Luo Chen to ask for clarification for the time being, there is only one way left, which is to slowly go through this diary to know what will happen in the future. If your own world is really the so-called world of a story. At the same time, in an apartment in New York, Luo Chen is taking stock of his family's wealth. Although he is an orphan, his parents left millions of assets for him, which can be withdrawn when he becomes an adult. Now he all of them were taken out, even the apartment was sold together, and the rest was waiting for Tony Stark to be kidnapped, and after the stock price of Stark Industrial Group plummeted, he would be able to buy the bottom. At that time, if you go back and forth, at least you can be worth tens of millions. 10 million USD is still quite valuable in the lighthouse country. At least it can initially realize financial freedom. After all, this is the world of Marvel, so the main battlefield has always been in the lighthouse country, and the most dangerous place is also in the lighthouse country. As long as you leave the lighthouse country, you can generally avoid the most dangerous places. But just at this time, he also awakened this divine grade diary system and asked him to write a diary. But at first he refused, after all, who is a decent person to keep a diary? Among the people who were famous for keeping diaries in history, there are a few with good reputations. But soon he followed suit, because as long as he persisted in keeping a diary and signing in, he could draw a lottery, and he glanced at the things in the lottery, there were too many good things. From high-tech weapons, to some kind of super ability, to some kind of magic practice notes, to the design drawings of certain equipment, etc. All in all, with these, even in this extremely dangerous world, he can at least obtain a certain self-protection ability. This made him change his mind. Originally, he planned to keep a low profile so as not to attract the attention of Ancient One and the Time Variation Administration, but now he has to fight. In this world, no one understands the dangers and horrors of this world better than Luo Chen. It can be said that the whole world is full of dangers. Being a superhero may be karma, for example, Tony Stark snapped his fingers and died. There are also some superhero rotations that conform to the new era, leading to the death of superheroes, and the death of some superhero players outside the fourth wall, or scandals, which will also lead to the death of superheroes. But what is more dangerous than being a superhero in the Marvel world is being the common people, especially the huge and bright target of the lighthouse country like New York, which is even more dangerous. No one knows how many gangsters are running rampant, and super criminals are also lurking among them. Fortunately, this is in Marvel. If it is in DC, the darkness of Gotham City can make almost everyone despair. Although that Biteman is punishing and eliminating evil on the surface, he has never been cruel to criminals, causing criminals breaking out of prison time and time again, making great incidents happen again and again, and countless people died tragically, can't compare with the importance of the principle of not killing in Bitman's heart. Who is a decent person who keeps a diary, but for self-protection, if you are not serious, you are not serious. Luo Chen sighed. He didn't know that he had already been cheated by this unscrupulous system, and now a copy of the diary had appeared in Tony Stark's hands. He didn't even think about it that much, and now he was going to work. Today he received a makeup job. After all, he also graduated from Harvard University. He just graduated this year, so he should have been busy with various interviews. 
but who let him know a way to make a fortune, he immediately lost interest in all kinds of interviews and just took some supplementary lessons here and there. In Beacon Country, those who are from the middle class or even above the middle class generally pay more attention to their children's education. It is not worse than in the previous life. Only the bottom class will let their children eat, drink and play every day. And which superhero with super ability is forced to work hard as a laborer, no one wants to exchange his own photos for money, no way no way. Today he was going to give a little girl a makeup class, so he found the door according to the address given to him on the previous contact number. It is a middle class community with relatively good security and environment. In the lighthouse country, where the poor, common people, middle class, elite, and rich live, it can be regarded as a completely different world. The person who opened the door was a middle-aged Caucasian woman. When he opened the door, he was not surprised to see Luo Chen, with a warm smile on his face. An Asian, or an East Asian, has a high degree of education and good knowledge. This is originally one of the stereotypes people have about East Asians, especially Chinese. And Luo Chen's performance is very consistent with this impression. He is gentle and elegant, and even looks very tender, like a teenager in his teens. Is that Mrs. Stacy? Luo Chen asked politely. Yes, you are Luo Chen. The white lady said with a smile. Come in, I didn't expect you to look younger than you thought. She was not afraid that Luo Chen was a fake, after all, he was recruited from a formal tutoring website, and he had all kinds of certificates. My daughter is 16 this year and is in high school, but she doesn't perform very well in mathematics. I hope you can give her more tutoring in mathematics. Aren't you Asians very good at this? Mrs. Stacy said. No problem, Luo Chen said with a smile. He can graduate from Harvard University. Even in the lighthouse country, this is the king of papers. It's trivial to tutor a high school student in mathematics. Luo Chen followed Mrs. Stacy into a girl's boudoir. Inside, a white girl about 15 or 16 years old was scratching her head and looking at the math problem in front of her with a sad face. Gwen, this is the teacher Luo I hired for you, who is responsible for tutoring you with math problems. Mrs. Stacy said. The girl raised her head, and immediately saw a face that was as handsome as a knife cut. It looked gentle, elegant, and handsome, and her heart suddenly jumped. Almost couldn't help but his little face turned slightly rosy, and couldn't help but think in his heart. So hot. At the moment, Luo Chen is also a little dumbfounded, Gwen Stacy. That Spider-Man's famous girlfriend. The unlucky guy who fell to his death in Extraordinary Spider-Man. He didn't expect New York to be so small, and his tutoring object turned out to be his future Spider-Man girlfriend. Hello, Mr. Luo. Gwen said quickly, getting up. Sit down, Luo Chen said hastily. Mr. Luo, if it's possible, can the tutoring class start now? Mrs. Stacy said. It's natural, Luo Chen said directly. Then you guys talk first, I'll go down and prepare some snacks for you. Mrs. Stacy said. Luo Chen nodded, and then glanced at the difficult math problems that Stacy had to deal with. To be honest, the math level of the common people in the lighthouse country is indeed very poor. Cut but this does not represent the level of the elite. Generally speaking, elites above the middle class often learn more than what they teach in school, but for Luo Chen, it is still just a trivial matter. He found out the train of thought and method of disintegration in two or three, and immediately explained it to Gwen. While listening, Gwen looked at this handsome face so close at hand, and couldn't help showing a bit of admiration on his face. Meanwhile, in the office of the chairman of the Stark Building in New York, Tony Stark heard the voice of J-A-R-V-I-S. Sir, the diary seems to be updated. Hearing this, Tony Stark immediately put down the work in his hands and quickly picked it up to read. Sure enough, behind the original content of the diary, a brand new text appeared. June 10th, sunny day, I'll go, New York is so small, I just help someone make up lessons, and I can meet Gwen Stacy, the famous unlucky heroine. Unlucky heroine, Gwen Stacy. At the moment Tony Stark memorized the name because he decided that, assuming the universe was a story universe, he must be the hero. It can also be seen from the few words in Luo Chen's diary that after all, he was kidnapped and then escaped from danger. Instead of his career plummeting, he took advantage of the situation and took off to develop a new field. 
This is not protagonist treatment, what is protagonist treatment? He just wanted to ask, who else? In other words, if he is the male lead and this Gwen Stacy is the female lead, it is likely to be his future lover. But it doesn't matter if it's his heroine, why is it an unlucky heroine? Could it be that following him would have a bad ending? This made Tony Stark think of some bloody Hollywood movies. In these Hollywood movies, as the protagonist's relatives and friends, it is not a good job, and even accidents happen frequently. Isn't that what it means? Immediately afterwards, he saw that new words began to appear on the blank paper. This time, he saw the words appear out of thin air on the notebook with his own eyes, which made him more sure that this was not the result of someone's prank. This notebook is indeed a manifestation of some kind of extraordinary power, not ordinary people. This Gwen is so beautiful, she really is the goddess in the hearts of countless people in previous lives. If there is a chance, maybe it can also prevent her tragedy. But her age is completely wrong. If I remember correctly, Peter Parker is only a few years old at this time, and he is still a kid with no hair. Why is Gwen so old? Paired with Peter Parker. Isn't this universe 1999? No, I clearly saw Tony Stark on TV, that stinking guy, he is at least 80% similar to Robert Downey Jr., this is definitely the 1999 universe, absolutely impossible to be Tony Stark from other universes. Quote. After reading this paragraph, Tony Stark only felt his scalp tingling, and the amount of information was huge, so he could understand that the things recorded in this diary were probably written casually, and they were written wherever he thought of, but these random words the amount of information revealed in the sentence is outrageous. First of all, it proved that his guess was wrong just now. He may be the protagonist, but he may not be the only protagonist, because the heroine, Gwen Stacy, was not paired for him, but for the kid named Peter Parker. Although he hasn't seen it yet, and doesn't know who this Peter Parker kid is, it's enough to confirm some of his guesses. This also made him breathe a sigh of relief. Just now when he thought that his official partner might be this little girl named Gwen Stacy, the first person that came to his mind was none other than his assistant, Pepper Pepper. It wasn't until now that he really realized that he seemed to have a different idea of Pepper Pepper, at least not in the general sense of the boss's view of his subordinates. All in all, when he first found out about his official match, he almost instinctively rejected the one named Gwen Stacy, because the official match was completely different from the previous ones who only had romantic relationships. Those women who only have a romantic relationship, it's great to give some money, no matter how much the other party gets some of his own traffic, for him, there is no loss at all. But the official match is different, it is a woman who will be with her for the rest of her life. Fortunately, it is not. And the next words made his hair stand on end even more. He just guessed that the world he was in might be a certain story world, but now he got the exact answer from the diary. It is indeed a certain story world, and even the number of the universe both, the 1999 universe. Also, this Luo Chen dared to call him a stinky fart. If it was normal, he might have to find the other party to make a theory, but now there is only a moment of surprise in his mind. The universe he is in may not be the only universe, no 1999, does that mean there were 1998 universes before that? After that there are countless universes. And it looks like there are other Tony Starks out there. In the current fashionable words, it is the peer of the parallel universe. In other words, do parallel universes really exist in this world, and are there universes beyond the so-called fourth wall? This Luo Chen really knows something. There is also this Robert Downey Jr. From Luo Chen's tone, it is not difficult to guess that this is probably the actor who plays himself in the universe beyond the fourth wall. When I think that I am just a story written by others, and even my appearance depends on the appearance of the actor, I suddenly feel irritable. J-A-R-V-I-S, what do you think? Tony Stark asked. Sir, it seems that this matter is very complicated. Judging from the words, it seems that several conclusions can be drawn. The first is that there is a protagonist in this world, but sir, you may not be the only protagonist. There is another protagonist who may it's the one named Peter Parker, and Gwen Stacy should be another heroine for him in the story. J-A-R-V-I-S analyze. Tony Stark nodded, this was also consistent with his analysis, although he was a little upset that he was not the only male protagonist, there were other protagonists but at least he was also a part of the protagonist. 
The second is that the universe we live in may be a comprehensive universe connected by multiple stories. It seems that there have been similar concepts in previous movies, called the film and television drama universe. In these universes, there may be different protagonists, but they live in this sky at the same time. Third, this comprehensive universe seems to be beyond Luo Chen's expectations. It is not exactly the same as the 1999 universe he knows. In the 1999 universe he knows, the one named Peter Parker the protagonist should be just a child now, but the heroine has grown up, which should be beyond the framework of the story, so I think, as we guessed before, the so-called story world may not be completely it is up to the authors outside the fourth wall to decide, and it is even possible that what happened on our side influenced the authors outside the fourth wall to make them create such stories. So, we may be able to refer to the story in Luo Chen's mouth, but we cannot fully trust this information, because maybe this world is not exactly the same as what Luo Chen remembers. The mechanized voice of J.A.R.V.I.S. came. That's right, Tony Stark nodded and said. However, I can't completely disbelieve it. There should be some deviations, but when I think that my appearance is determined by others, I feel very uncomfortable. Those actors, why do you compare with me? Tony Stark was born into a wealthy family in the Beacon Country, and he was born rich. To him, the stars in the entertainment industry are just a bunch of actors and playthings. Now his fate and appearance are determined by an actor, so he is naturally very upset. Also, those Tony Starks from other universes, Tony Stark murmured. Judging from the contents of Luo Chen's diary, there is no one Tony Stark in this world, and there is even a Tony Stark in a parallel universe who looks completely different from him. In other words, he might just be the Tony Stark in the 1999 universe, maybe not even the 1999 universe, maybe just the Tony Stark of another similar parallel universe, otherwise, there wouldn't be anything that doesn't match Luo Chen's memory the character situation. Thinking of this, he was still a little upset. However, there are peers from other parallel universes, who seem to be more certain that he is indeed the protagonist, isn't the protagonist entitled to this kind of treatment. But before Tony Stark could think about it, there was another paragraph on the blank page of the diary. At this point in time, Gwen Stacy is so old, could it be that the Spider-Man in this universe is the extraordinary Spider-Man, not the Dutch brother Spider-Man? In that case, the father-son relationship between Peter Parker and Tony Stark would be cut short here, and Tony Stark would have no chance to gradually understand his irascible old father through educating Peter Parker. But that's okay, the province's Dutch brother Spider-Man couldn't pick up the mantle of Iron Man's heir, and caused a lot of things, even Aunt May was killed by him. But this way Gwen might die in Peter Parker's arms. If it was the extraordinary Spider-Man version, I don't know how many people cried at that scene, especially in the three spiders in the same frame. MJ who lost Dutch brother Spider-Man can barely make up for some regrets. Quote. Another paragraph with huge amounts of information, Tony Stark only felt a little pain in his head, he had just digested that he had different peers in different parallel universes, and now he had to accept that in different parallel universes, it seemed there were different Spider-Man. What extraordinary Spider-Man, what Dutch brother Spider-Man, seems to be two different versions of Spider-Man, and Gwen Stacy's official match should be Extraordinary Spider-Man, and the official match of Dutch Brother Spider-Man is the girl named MJ. Now, many things have been straightened out, it turned out to be like this, no wonder Luo Chen was so shocked. And it seemed that that Extraordinary Spider-Man was not so miserable, he would watch his woman die in his arms, how miserable. If it were him, if he saw Pepper Pepper dying in his arms, he would probably run away immediately. And that Dutch guy Spider-Man, what the hell is that name, Dutch guy? What the hell? Is it a nickname? He couldn't help but pay special attention to this Dutch brother Spider-Man, because according to Luo Chen's words, the two will almost become a father-son relationship, and he will gradually learn from the process of educating the Dutch brother Spider-Man. Slow to understand the old man's painstaking efforts in educating him. Is this possible? Now he thinks back to the old man back then, he still only had the belt to whip him, and he was disciplined severely. He seemed to have had a stage of being kind to him, but that was a long, long time ago. At that time, he seemed to be still young, but his memory was already very vague. Not to mention his father who was kind to him at the beginning, even the memory of the old man who disciplined him severely later is very vague, because it has been many years since his old man died suddenly. 
that car accident took away his parents, leaving him no chance to prove to his father how excellent he was and that he lived up to his expectations. Is it possible for such a self to understand the old man back then? Father and son, Tony Stark murmured, Sir, it seems that this Dutch brother Spider-Man is not very reliable. According to Luo Chen, it seems that this Dutch brother Spider-Man cannot inherit your mantle, and caused a lot of troubles after that. Not a good choice. J-A-R-V-I-S spoke at the right time. Pass the mantle, why would I want him to pass the mantle, unless, I'm dead. Tony Stark suddenly realized something was wrong. He is only in his thirties now, which is the age of a man in his prime. It can be said that he is high-spirited, and he has transitioned from being proud of his youth to being proud of his middle age. Life is so smooth that there are almost no worries. With the lifespan of a rich man in the Beacon country, it is basically not a big problem for him to live to a hundred years old. There are still sixty or seventy years left, so why are you so anxious to find a mantle? What about the heir? Unless something happened to him and he died. In other words, he might die in the future. I'm the male lead, how could I die? Tony Stark was a little shocked, but also a little speechless. Sir, generally speaking, male protagonists really won't die, unless a new generation of male protagonists is to be launched. For example, the Dutch brother Spider-Man, from the logic of the script, can smoothly transition to the next male protagonist. Protagonist, it's possible, said J-A-R-V-I-S. Hearing this, Tony Stark only felt that there was a hand holding his own destiny. It would be fine if his death was for the righteousness of the common people, but if it was just to connect the situation of the next leading actor, then in this case, it would be fine. It made him feel very pained. His own destiny is at the mercy of others, such a thing has not happened to him for a long time, especially since he has always thought that he controls his own destiny, and now even the destiny he thinks he controls is actually someone else secretly grasped, the anger in my heart is beyond doubt. Fortunately, he is still complacent, thinking that he is one of the rulers of this country, and he is just a tool man. Tony Stark forcibly calmed down the anger in his heart, because he knew that being angry at this time would not solve any problems, and the arrival of Luo Chen seemed to give him a chance to break the situation, at least not like the fate he should have had originally same. Sir, there is another key point here, the three spiders in the same frame, literally, that is to say, this may be three Spider-Man appearing in the same time and space at the same time, the so-called extraordinary Spider-Man save the Netherlands brother Spider-Man's girlfriend MJ can also prove this logic. J-A-R-V-I-S continued to explain. If you look at what Luo Chen said before, it is very likely that there are different parallel universes in this world. There may be at least three spider mons alone. The so-called three spiders in the same frame refer to three spider mons. Appearing at the same time, one of them is the Dutch brother Spider-Man, the other is the extraordinary Spider-Man, the last one is still unknown, but if you consider that this Spider-Man is not some kind of Superman that can be mass-produced. You mean, similar to the super soldier serum. The serum the old man said back then. Tony Stark asked. He immediately understood the meaning of J-A-R-V-I-S. There are only two explanations for so many Spider-Men, or they are homotopes in different parallel universes. For example, Tony Stark also has different homotopes in different universes. Also, this Spider-Man is a mass-produced Superman class. Although he doesn't know what Spider-Man means, Judging from the name, it is likely to be related to the ability of a certain kind of spider. Given his social class and originally his family background, he naturally knows a lot more than the average person, such as the existence of Super Soldier Serum. In the Lighthouse Country, Captain America Rogers is also considered a well-known big shot. There are countless film and television dramas, animations, comics, and novels that have been adapted over the years. However, there are not many mentions of how Captain America Rogers possessed the Superman's physique and ability. Some stories even made up, saying that he got help from aliens, or got God's guidance and such. But only a few upper echelons, such as Tony Stark, who personally participated in the production of Super Soldier Serum, know that the real reason for Captain America Rogers to obtain Superman's physique is the Super Soldier Serum. It was originally planned to be mass-produced and used to popularize among soldiers, just by looking at the name. Super Soldier Serum, and multiple Spider-Man in the same frame, that is to say, it may come from this, some kind of mass-produced superhero technology. 
But soon he realized something was wrong and reacted immediately. This can't be a technology similar to the Super Soldier Serum, because they are all named Peter Parker, unless the effect of this Spider-Man serum is limited to people named Peter Parker, otherwise it shouldn't be. Tony Stark immediately after reacting, I found a loophole in this logic. Yes sir, so according to the data calculation, the probability that these Spider-Man Peter Parkers are from different parallel universes is 99.9%. .9%. J.A.R.V.I.S. said calmly. This also shows that at some point in the future, a multi-universe, that is, a door containing multiple parallel worlds may open, and superheroes from different worlds may come to each other's worlds, and only then will the situation of three spiders in the same frame appear. Mister from different parallel universes may also appear at that time, maybe you too. Tony Stark thought about it, and he was right. Since there may be multiple spider mons appearing at the same time, it is not impossible for multiple Tony Starks to appear at the same time. How will he face his peers in his own multi-universe? Do you want to tear each other up when you meet? Or do we fight each other when we meet? Or cooperate with each other to fight against unknown dangers? Based on this analysis, if I were the protagonist, what about the super abilities I possess? Tony Stark thought, could it be that when he was kidnapped, he was rescued by an extraterrestrial expert, and then he taught him some mysterious oriental qigong, or western magic. The more Tony Stark thought about it, the more possible it became. Why is this world dangerous? It is very likely that there is a so-called superhero, such as that Spider-Man. And he is a commoner, at least so far, so if he wants to be the protagonist, or one of the protagonists, he must at least have some abilities beyond ordinary people. So what kind of qigong? what kind of magic is also possible. If it was a day ago, he would not have believed in the existence of such obviously unscientific things. But today I have seen too many unscientific things, and my three views have been constantly shattered and re-established. Maybe magic really exists. After a series of indiscriminate bombardment with a large amount of information, he found that he might still be able to accept these mysterious things. Bar, shit, who can accept things other than the three views so easily. Sir, what you describe is very similar to the plot in some third-rate novels. J.A.R.V.I.S. complained at the right time. But you can say that the world we live in isn't the world in some third-rate story. Tony Stark asked in reverse. Since it is in the story world, isn't it normal for any kind of plot to appear? This kind of adventure seems reasonable, doesn't it? However, J.A.R.V.I.S., record the name of Peter Parker and check it. It may be the list of Spider-Man's Peter Parker, and it must be included in the list of key attention. A special file is set up, named Spider-Man Peter Parker. Tony Stark said calmly, after a series of information bombarding the three views, his brain calmed down again. Yes, sir, said the mechanized voice of J.A.R.V.I.S. But at the moment, something changed in the diary. Tony Stark saw another paragraph of text appearing in the diary out of thin air, but now he is much calmer. Num, no, there is another possibility. The problem may not be the 1999 universe, nor Peter Parker. The problem may be Gwen herself. I almost forgot. In some universes, Spider-Man is not Peter Parker, but Gwen. If the Spider-Man in this universe is really Gwen, isn't Gwen the Spider-Woman? It wasn't Gwen, it was Peter Parker. At that time, Peter Parker may turn into Dr. Lizard and be killed by Gwen in the end. That would be too tragic. Gwen and Peter Parker are destined to die alone. The screenwriter is really inappropriate, in order to make Gwen become Spider-Woman, Peter Parker must die. However, there are several versions of Spider-Woman, but I just don't know which Spider-Woman this Gwen is. Quote, Another large amount of explosive text with huge amounts of information appeared in front of Tony Stark. He has just accepted the fact that Peter Parker may become Spider-Man in multiple universes, and he has also accepted the existence of parallel universes, multi-universes. Accepted that there may be many beings named Spider-Man. Now another version of Spider-Man has been released, no, to be precise, it should be Spider-Woman, Gwen. And Spider-Man Peter Parker may not exist in the same time and space as Spider-Woman. Judging from Luo Chen's words, there is more than one universe in which Gwen became Spider-Woman. If you count it this way, there are many parallel universes that are vaguely revealed now. 
In his own universe, the possible self and Dutch brother Spider-Man or father-son universes, extraordinary Spider-Man universe, and another Spider-Man universe, and Gwen is several parallel universes of Spider-Woman. Just now, there are enough parallel universes. He suddenly felt a little headache, why did he suddenly start dealing with multi-universe matters? But now, he doesn't even know who is going to kidnap him. As expected, the more ignorant he is, the happier he is, and the more he knows, the more painful his head will be. But what I know is only a few words, there is no way to know the specific whole picture, I don't know the whole picture, and I don't even dare to comment. However, once he had the idea of going to this Luo Chen to understand the situation, he would immediately have a severe headache, which made him dare not approach him at all. Thinking of this, Tony Stark could only let go of looking for Luo Chen, but said, J-A-R-V-I-S, create another file, the name of the file is Spider Woman, the key surveillance object, Gwen Stacy, find her first say it again. Yes, sir. J-A-R-V-I-S began. The search results are here, sir. According to the information given in the diary, the Spider Girl Gwen Stacy should be the person below. J-A-R-V-I-S said, projecting a photo of a girl in front of Tony Stark. None other than Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy is 16 years old. Her father is the chief of the New York Police Department. According to all the information available on the internet, there is no other sign that she can become a spider woman. J-A-R-V-I-S said. I also searched for all possible Peter Parker results. So far, only one Peter Parker who is only 7 years old and lives in Queens matches the Peter Parker mentioned in Luo Chen's diary. He also has a son named May. Aunt also has an uncle named Ben Parker. Peter Parker is so small, which means that he is not extraordinary Spider-Man or other versions of Spider-Man. It is probably the Dutch brother Spider-Man mentioned in Luo Chen's notebook, who is his father and son as I am. This Dutch brother, should wouldn't it be the Spider-Man in the fourth wall universe? Tony Stark said, but it seems that Gwen did not appear as the heroine. The difference in age between them is a bit big, almost 10 years old. This shows that this Gwen Stacy may become a spider one day in the future. Female, a Spider-Man, a Spider-Woman, I wonder if this Luo Chen has thought of this. Judging from the diary recorded in Luo Chen's diary, he probably didn't think of this. J-A-R-V-I-S explained. Maybe in the stories he knows, there is no version where Spider-Man and Spider-Woman appear at the same time, or Peter Parker dies and Gwen becomes Spider-Woman, or Gwen dies and Peter Parker becomes Spider-Man. Finally, there is something that even a traverser doesn't know about. Tony Stark thought of this, and immediately felt much more comfortable. Since this Luo Chen appeared in his sight, he has always looked confident, especially when he judged that he was kidnapped, he was absolutely sure, and even wanted to use himself being kidnapped made a lot of money. It is simply too hateful. However, Tony Stark couldn't punish him yet, and it was difficult to even get close, so he could only watch from a distance. At the same time, facing such an all-knowing and omnipotent person, he also felt a little fear in his heart. Such a completely uncontrollable person made him feel uncomfortable from the bottom of his heart. Continue to monitor, but still need to allocate part of the computing power to figure out who might kidnap me. Tony Stark said. He has now completely believed that he will be kidnapped in the future, but he doesn't know who it is, so he simply let J-A-R-V-I-S invade the networks of various companies, especially those companies that compete with him. If anyone wants to eradicate themselves and then quickly, then it is these enemies. He has offended too many people in his life, because of his broken mouth and cheap mouth, he himself knows something about it, although he feels that he is just telling the truth, but how annoying he is, how much I still know what to do. It's just that just talking about it, shouldn't make people have the urge to kidnap him or even kill him, and the most likely ones are other competitors who are also capitalists. How much money would they make without Tony Stark? Especially that idiot Justin Hammer. Their Hammer Industrial Group was suppressed by their own Stark Industrial Group and could only produce some common weapons without much profit. Recently, I heard that they have developed a funny ex-wife missiles are ridiculous. He had to start with these idiot opponents first. These people were far inferior to him in terms of intelligence and intelligence, but he didn't dare to underestimate these people in terms of conspiracy and tricks. If this Luo Chen revealed in his diary who kidnapped me, that would be great, save me from checking everywhere now.
Tony Stark cursed secretly. Now because of Luo Chen's early spoiler, let him knowing that he would be kidnapped, Tony Stark simply cancelled all external activities for his own safety. He originally planned to go to Afghanistan to sell a weapon to the military recently, but now he doesn't want to go either. Anyway, the quality of the weapon is here. He dares to say that this is the most powerful missile in the world so far. He doesn't believe that the military will not be tempted. Anyway, just send a salesman there. Originally, there was no reason for a company chairman to go to Afghanistan to sell weapons in person, but his uncle Opadri constantly told him that he had been idle for too long recently, and the board of directors was very dissatisfied with him, so he was asked to go go through the motions and leave the old guys on the board speechless. Otherwise, it is impossible for him to go to the on-site sales, and it is not that there are no salesmen, nor is it that there is no high-level company who can be responsible. What do the old guys in those companies know? If they hadn't worked hard for several months every year, how could the company have such a good profit, and their dividends have been rising every year? His idleness, eating, drinking and having fun everywhere is for a better job, and he doesn't even understand this, these old guys are really funny. The flowers bloomed at both ends, and Luo Chen didn't know that Tony Stark was secretly complaining about his unreliability and wouldn't tell who kidnapped him. For him, it's just a diary. Anyway, he can write whatever he wants, and he can complain as much as he wants. Who stipulated that writing a diary requires spoilers? Anyway, as long as he is happy, he can write anything in the diary, and no one else will see it. Moreover, writing in this diary is also very convenient, there is no need to do it yourself, any thought will appear in the diary. At the moment, he had just finished teaching Gwen Stacy, enjoying Gwen Stacy's adoring eyes, but he still left. He still wants to have less contact with these main plot characters. Especially when you don't have any self-preservation ability, less contact will reduce the possibility of dying. But he didn't know that shortly after he left, there was an extra diary on Gwen Stacy's desk. Gwen Stacy saw this diary when she returned to the house after sending Luo Chen off. Is this teacher Luo's diary? Gwen Stacy noticed Luo Chen's name on the diary. She didn't want to read it at first, but who knew, she opened it by accident. Opening Lightning Strike When she opened the diary, what she saw directly gave her an opening lightning strike. June 6, the weather is fine today, waiting for the first day of Tony Stark's kidnapping. June 7, the weather is cloudy today, waiting for the day after Tony Stark was kidnapped. June 7, Xiao Yu, waiting for the third day of Tony Stark's kidnapping, Luo Chen, Luo Chen, you can't continue to degenerate, you have to work hard. Struggle, wait for Tony Stark to be kidnapped, buy a wave of stocks at a low price, and sell them after he turns to new energy, and he will earn his life's expenses. Who will work hard? Quote. She didn't expect that the first thing she saw was that her teacher Luo wrote in the diary that she was waiting for Tony Stark to be kidnapped, and she still seemed so determined. Obviously, if it's not because of the insanity, there must be a special reason for it. But then she saw what Luo Chen wrote later. This Gwen is so beautiful, she really is the goddess in the hearts of countless people in previous lives. If there is a chance, maybe it can also prevent her tragedy. Immediately, Gwen's pretty face flushed, and then she thought, does teacher Luo think I'm pretty too? Thinking of Luo Chen's handsome face like a knife, and the incomparable ability of a super student, Gwen couldn't help but her heart began to pound. Her age is exactly the age of the young Mu Ai, and Luo Chen is completely different from the boys in school who are only funny all day long, so she is the most attractive to girls like her. Immediately afterwards, Gwen looked down again, and saw the mention in the diary that he might be the official partner named Peter Parker, and suddenly felt bad. Spider-Man, the one named Peter Parker. Gwen Stacy saw a thing from Luo Chen's record at the back. Will this Peter Parker become Spider-Man in the future? Moreover, there is a multi-universe in this world. There are multiple parallel universes in this multi-universe, and there is more than one Peter Parker and one Spider-Man in it. What extraordinary Spider-Man, what Dutch brother Spider-Man. Undoubtedly, like Tony Stark, she also feels that her three views are about to be blown to pieces. Parallel universes, multi-universe, etc., are originally one of the hottest directions in the current physics world. Now the existence of parallel universes is almost confirmed through Luo Chen's diary. However, this is not the most outrageous thing. 
The most outrageous thing is that in addition to these parallel universes, multi-universes, there is actually a universe beyond the fourth wall. My own destiny turned out to be a script written by others. Will I die in the arms of that extraordinary Spider-Man Peter Parker in the future? And the fate of all this is just the result of a certain screenwriter. Thinking of this, Gwen suddenly wanted to hit someone a little bit. Why, why should he sacrifice himself for this plot? Spider-Woman. Immediately after, Gwen saw Luo Chen complaining about Spider-Woman. What she immediately thought of was that she had become a monster with the head of a human and the body of a spider. She shuddered and felt extremely disgusted. In this screenwriter's writing, there is almost no way for myself and Peter Parker to survive well, or I will become a spider woman and Peter Parker will die. Either Peter Parker turns into Spider-Man and dies himself. All in all, nothing to end well. I'm just a plot character. Gwen thought in a daze, how could it be possible? She thought about it carefully, and she obviously had all the memories from childhood to adulthood, including joy and pain, almost everything, and she was almost sure that she was an independent individual with the ability to think independently. The reason why I say almost, not completely, is that what Luo Chen wrote in his diary is too sure, and it seems very certain that this is a world of stories written by others. Thinking of this, she suddenly became a little irritable. And looking at this statement, it seems that even my own character has different peers in different parallel time and space. Could it be, this is teacher Luo's prank? Gwen couldn't help thinking that all this looked, no matter how you looked at it, looked like some kind of prank by Luo Chen. What time travel, what rebirth, what story world, what Spider-Man, what Spider-Woman, are all written in a precise manner, with a style, just like the real thing. What? Why did teacher Luo call me the unlucky heroine? I'm not unlucky. Gwen couldn't help but speak. But before she continued to complain, she found that the words continued to appear under the diary. Today I met one of the dream wives of countless time traversing people, Marvel's best girlfriend, and I'm in a great mood, but I just don't know how she compares to Aome, I feel that she should not be as big as Aome. Seeing this, Gwen couldn't help but blushed slightly, but then she looked down a little unconvinced, who is that Aome, how could she not be as old as her? Ms. Luo is really too much. Gwen looked at her bosom, it was not too small, but she was still evaluated by Luo Chen as not as big as Ome. It is conceivable that Ome was in Luo Chen's the heart must be very big. I can still grow. However, she immediately remembered that she was called Marvel's best girlfriend by Luo Chen, one of the dream wives who traveled through the hearts of countless people, and she immediately felt better. This evaluation is not low. Suddenly a little shy, but also a little proud. But Mr. Luo is serious on the surface, but he didn't expect to be such a person in private, hum. Gwen snorted twice and said. Luo Chen didn't know that his diary had been copied again, and it fell into Gwen's hands. All his little thoughts were seen by others through writing in the diary. When I met the heroine Gwen today, Luo Chen thought he was covering up well, at least not revealing his true thoughts. With his current ability, it might be safest to stay away from these plot characters. Even though the Beacon Country is originally not safe, even though New York is originally a chaotic metropolis, it has nothing to do with safety. But under normal circumstances, as long as you stay away from these characters who will bring the plot, you can stay away from real danger. And tomorrow is the first time he signs in for seven days. According to the system's rules, he can start the first lottery draw, and he doesn't know what he can get tomorrow. Although meeting Gwen today was a surprise, but there are too many well-known heroines in Marvel, and Gwen is just one of them, and even Spider-Man is not just this girlfriend. After all, every superhero has been serialized for decades, and if it takes longer, it will be almost a hundred years. In such a long time, who hasn't had a few confidant? However, if I catch up with Gwen, and avoid the tragedy between her and Peter Parker, it will also save a life, and it will be better than building a seven-level pagoda. Seeing a passage reprinted in the diary, Gwen suddenly felt her face flushed, Teacher Luo wanted to chase me. This is not impossible, especially in the lighthouse country, girls are originally very precocious, and some have boyfriends at the age of 15 or 16. What's more, he is such a handsome teacher. Luo Chen returned to the rented house, because the original apartment had been sold in exchange for money, and he could buy the bottom after Tony Stark was kidnapped. He didn't know, because of this sudden diary, 
Gwen and Tony Stark could be said to be sleepless all night. After a night of nothing to say, after waking up early, Luo Chen couldn't wait to start writing today's diary. June 11th, sunny, another day in dangerous New York, outside is the bustling New York City, but no one can imagine how dangerous it will be here in the future, after Tony Stark came back from Afghanistan, he declared himself after becoming Iron Man, all kinds of hidden super criminals and superheroes popped up like a blowout, the city is too dangerous, I want to go back to the countryside. Just when Luo Chen started to write his diary, J.A.R.V.I.S. called Tony Stark directly in Tony Stark's mansion in New York. Sir, that diary has been updated. What, why is the diary updated early in the morning? How can a serious person write a diary in the morning? Is this person sick? Tony Stark couldn't help but venomously said. He studied the diary left by Luo Chen all night last night, but he really didn't see anything from it. Except for the liking for Gwen expressed later, and the big-breasted girl named Aome, basically there is nothing else. In other words, those who can analyze have already analyzed it early in the morning, and only fell asleep in a daze in the middle of the night. As a result, he didn't fall asleep for long before he was called up to read a brand new diary. Generally, diaries record what happened that day, so they are usually written before going to bed, but Luo Chen is different. Isn't it sick to wake up early in the morning to write a diary? Specify sick. Tony Stark felt himself being severely tortured. He yawned and came to the living room. The diary was open, and there was another paragraph in it. When he saw this passage, Tony Stark's pupils shrank slightly. Let's not talk about the nonsense above. It's not a day or two for Luo Chen to complain that New York is dangerous. It's very normal. But as mentioned later, after Tony Stark returned from Afghanistan, he announced that he had become Iron Man, and all kinds of hidden super criminals, superhero, emerged like a blowout. Super criminal, superhero. Tony Stark can tell from the description of these two words that this is obviously not a common criminal, nor a common hero, at least it should be similar to the superhero Captain America during World War II. In other words, this world, since the word superhero, has been used to describe Captain America. Because at least on the bright side, there is no second such superhero. But judging from Luo Chen's words, there will be more and more superheroes and super criminals in the future, and the number will be so large that the whole of New York will become very dangerous. This also gave him a sense of urgency. Iron Man. Tony Stark could tell naturally that this word should describe himself, similar to Spider-Man, Spider-Woman and other characters that appeared before. Sure enough, I said, I should be the protagonist. Tony Stark said proudly. Before, he firmly believed that with his intelligence, he should be the protagonist, otherwise, Luo Chen would not mention himself repeatedly in his notebook. But now it is confirmed for the first time from Luo Chen's notebook that he is indeed the main character. Iron Man, what kind of man is he, who has the ability to manipulate steel? Tony Stark thought for a long time, and literally understood it, it seemed that this was the only thing. This is not in line with his scientific thinking, but thinking about it, it seems that there is no other way. It's better to have ability than not have ability. At least from Luo Chen's words, it can be judged that New York in the future is very dangerous. Leaving aside those superheroes, just those super criminals are beyond the reach of ordinary people. For example, some time ago, two monsters were killing in New York, one was green and the other was black with long thorns. They could only vaguely see the human form, and just two people caused a devastating blow to the entire block. Influence. Tony Stark has heard about that incident, and even invaded the network of some military units through JARVIS, and obtained some information. It can be said that those two monsters are very, very scary. Judging from the video data, these two monsters are much taller than ordinary people. It would be fine if they were just a little taller, but their skin is so rough and fleshy that ordinary bullets can't pierce them. And it's not just bullets, even ordinary shells hitting them can't pose any threat at all. And the big guy in green is even more powerful, not only indestructible, but hard to hurt by shells. According to the analysis of video data, his strength, speed, and endurance will continue to increase with the increase of anger. There is no limit yet. At least in the limited information, there is no limit. Because although JARVIS can invade the military's network, in fact, the more secretive network is directly physically disconnected, and there is no way to directly intrude. 
This is why Tony Stark has very limited knowledge of that matter. All he knew was that the creation of that monster was probably directly related to the military. Probably some kind of military experiment. In the lighthouse country, various biochemical experiments and human experiments are not uncommon at all. In other words, their Stark group has no biochemical related projects, otherwise, this is inevitable. As a capitalist, he is no stranger to this. It's just that Tony Stark still has some bottom line in his heart. He is just a playboy, not a demon that destroys humanity. That is to say, there will be more and more super criminals like that green titan and black monster in the future. Tony Stark only felt a pain in the head. If this is the case, then New York is really not very safe. Isn't it dangerous to be in New York? But what exactly is this Iron Man's ability? How to get this ability? Is born awakening, or learn it the day after tomorrow? He has no idea about these things, so he can't just go to Afghanistan once. And from Luo Chen's words, he could see that what Luo Chen said before that he would be kidnapped might have a lot to do with this matter. Afghanistan. Coincidentally, he did have a trip to Afghanistan recently. In other words, he was kidnapped, most likely in Afghanistan. However, according to the itinerary plan in Afghanistan, there are military personnel protecting the whole process, so logically speaking, the car should not overturn. But the result is that he really overturned his car and was kidnapped. Although he doesn't know how he came back and how he became Iron Man, it will definitely not be a wonderful experience. Now he really wants to find Luo Chen and ask him thoroughly what he experienced in Afghanistan and how he obtained this ability to control steel. Sir, if you look at the logic that our world is a story world, this is very possible. J.A.R.V.I.S. said. Judging from Hollywood's script writing habits, it may indeed be such a thing. The protagonist was originally inexperienced, but after a blow, he gradually matured, gained abilities beyond ordinary people, and then defeated the last powerful enemy. Hollywood script. Tony Stark had a headache thinking that this matter might be the same as a Hollywood script. Judging from the situation revealed in Luo Chen's diary, the world outside the fourth wall is likely to be very similar to our world. Their screenwriters used their original world as a reference point to create this game called In the World of Marvel, every superhero in it, such a hero, is likely to be the protagonist. J.A.R.V.I.S. said. J.A.R.V.I.S., your analysis makes sense. Tony Stark nodded. But that's good, at least it shows that our screenwriter will not be some non-human monster. Tony Stark thought about it, the fact that he was created already made him feel very aggrieved, and if he was created as a group of non-human monsters, he would feel even more uncomfortable. Who can accept their creator as an inhuman monster? At least have a human shape. It's hard for human beings to imagine things that don't exist at all. Judging from the complete operation rules in our world, there should be exactly the same world outside the fourth wall. J.A.R.V.I.S. said. The famous superheroes that appear now include Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, and me, Iron Man, so this Marvel is likely to be a comprehensive world, which is also in line with what was written in Luo Chen's diary before. Said Tony Stark, a superhero is an independent worldview, and then different superheroes live in the same world, and can be linked when necessary. This is the logic, Tony Stark is such a smart person, he can guess a lot of things through some cobweb horse traces. After all, I have seen a lot of Hollywood movies, and I am not unfamiliar with the concept of the movie universe. I immediately figured out why although he is the protagonist, there are other protagonists, and even other heroines. It turns out that there are other reasons for this. In other words, everyone has their own storyline, including Peter Parker, who, in Luo Chen's words, may have a father-son relationship with him, and he should also have his own storyline and the linkage of the two superheroes is likely to be able to drive box office, or subscriptions, or sales, the most likely movie box office. Because Luo Chen said that he looks very similar to that Robert Downey Jr., that is, the actor who plays him, so it is more likely to be a movie. Definitely, there may also be comics and novels. After all, there are so many multi-universes. I may just be the Tony Stark of the 1999 universe. As more and more information was obtained, Tony Stark also slowly outlined some of the settings that the screenwriters outside the fourth wall had delineated for their own world, and he knew it well. No wonder Luo Chen said that New York is very dangerous. 
Since there are superheroes, then from the perspective of drama, there must be super criminals, otherwise, wouldn't it be boring? From this point of view, these stories should be the stories of superhero fighting super criminals. Hey, with a little more money, it can be made into a blockbuster special effects movie. Tony Stark sneered. He understood better, whether he was kidnapped or turned into a new energy source, Gwen would die as the girlfriend of Spider-Man Peter Parker, or Peter Parker would die in the arms of Spider-Woman Gwen as a lizard man, it should be all to increase the drama of these stories so that they will be more popular. Yes, judging from the simple story, in order for you, the protagonist, to achieve the goal of growth, it is very likely that other disasters and twists and turns will be arranged to promote your growth. In the process, your loved ones may be hurt, your lover. J.A.R.V.I.S. said with a rational and objective analysis. Tony Stark suddenly realized that something was wrong. If you just torture him, he will be fine with the aura of the protagonist, but if you look at it from another angle, it is very likely that you will cause accidents to your relatives and friends to achieve the goal of promoting his growth. The hearts of these screenwriters are really dirty. When Tony Stark watched these Hollywood blockbusters in the past, he didn't feel the heart of these screenwriters. After all, everyone knew that it was just fiction. Who would be angry about the fate of fictional characters? But now that it's his turn to be the one whose fate has been manipulated, everything will be different. When J.A.R.V.I.S. reminded him that people around him might have accidents because of him, his heart almost stopped suddenly, as if someone grabbed his heart hard. With Tony Stark's unstingy personality, it can be said that there are many people who care about him, but there is actually only one person who cares so much that he can't lose, and that is Pepper Pepper. J-A-R-V-I-S, remember to remind me to strengthen Pepper's security work. Tony Stark ordered. He was afraid that if he forgot for a while, it would cause huge amounts of regret, so he simply asked J-A-R-V-I-S to remind himself. How many super criminals, superheroes are going to show up in New York to use the blowout? Tony Stark said, so I'm the one who started it all. If, say, superheroes, super criminals blow out, there should be no less, and most of them should have some traces now, otherwise, do we have to wait to be like that Peter Parker, in the future because of something, at what point, all of a sudden, turned into Spider-Man Peter Parker. J-A-R-V-I-S, create a file, file name, strange news, collect information on the internet, and if necessary, you can hack into the military and government networks to see if there are any strange people and strange things, all sorted out, these whether it's a super criminal or a superhero, I must master it. Tony Stark immediately instructed, okay, sir, the file has been created. J-A-R-V-I-S said directly. But before Tony Stark could continue talking, another sentence appeared in the diary. Speaking of this, the first time I saw Tony Stark's catfish-faced Mark Armour, I still felt a little uncomfortable. I didn't expect that after so many years, the dozens of Mark series armors were actually pleasing to the eye. It's a pity that I can't see the classic scene of Tony Stark forging iron in a cave in Afghanistan with my own eyes. That's the beginning of Tony Stark's apotheosis. He saved Marvel by himself, and the six a fly. Quote. Catfish face Mark Armour. These few words hit Tony Stark like a bolt of lightning, reminding him of something, and he finally understood why he was called Iron Man. Originally, he understood it literally, for example, Spider-Man, may he become a spider. For example, Iron Man may be the ability to manipulate steel. From a logical analysis, it should be so. Who would have thought that it turned out to be a battle armor? Yes, he did have the idea of making a battle armor. But at that time, it could only be regarded as some vague ideas. In fact, this type of armor is not a very new concept originally. All major countries in the world have armor designed for individual soldiers, but in general, the performance is very average. It can only be regarded as an auxiliary tool for individual soldiers, and it cannot reach the level of the armor he imagined. So it's not that he has no idea about armor. After all, he is an arms manufacturer, and individual armor can be regarded as one of the arms research directions of the next generation. However, he didn't really start researching it, just a little bit here and there. Because with the current technology, even if all kinds of difficulties are really overcome, the cost is too high, and the military does not like it. But this is indeed an excellent way out. From the perspective of military procurement, those armors are somewhat not practical and the cost is too high. 
At most, some experimental teams can be formed. But if it is used for himself, everything will be completely different. Even if the cost of a battle armor can be increased to tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars, it is naturally not a drop in the bucket for him, but it is definitely affordable starting price. Don't forget, he is one of the richest people in the whole world, nothing else but a lot of money. At this moment, his mind opened up, and he also figured out many things that he didn't understand before, why he taught Iron Man his nickname. In fact, it's just Iron Man. He is indeed just a common man, and he can't even be considered strong among the common people. It can only be said that he has the habit of maintaining fitness every day. But he can put a tin can on himself, and with the help of these tin cans, everything will be completely different. With the technology he has at hand, it is completely feasible, but he didn't have such a need before. Moreover, it is not difficult to judge from Luo Chen's words that he will be caught in a cave in Afghanistan in the future, and he will use handmade iron to make out the battle armor bit by bit, and even that picture, in Luo Chen's mouth, has become a god. Screen. Function. I didn't expect this kid to have a little vision. Tony Stark was also very satisfied with Luo Chen's praise. He Tony Stark is just that invincible, that's just awesome, there's nothing wrong with him. After all, he is the protagonist of this world. Does the protagonist understand? Know what is the gold content of the protagonist? Thinking about it this way, the screenwriter who created himself outside the fourth wall can be regarded as having a bit of vision, knowing that he has portrayed Tony Stark so perfectly. Sir, it is said in this diary that you once saved Marvel by yourself. Judging from the present, this sentence may have two meanings. First, Marvel is the general name of the multi-universe we are in. He this Marvel has been mentioned more than once, and the last time it was related to this Marvel was Miss Gwen, who said that he is the best girlfriend of Marvel. J.A.R.V.I.S. analyzed and said. So this Marvel may be the general name of the multi-universe we are in, or in other words, the general name of the story written, and definitely may also be the general name of the entire series of stories outside the fourth wall. Yes, Tony Stark said, nodding. So this saved Marvel, maybe I save the universe, or maybe I save the box office of the Marvel series beyond the fourth wall. Yes, your analysis is very correct. If this world is a story world, then the success of this story will directly determine the survival of this world, and you should be in the movie universe, which is probably your story. Save this series of stories. J.A.R.V.I.S. slowly said the deduction and analysis in his database. Not bad not bad. Tony Stark had a somewhat smug look on his face, although the fact that he might have been created made him very unhappy. But it feels so good to be the savior. Chapter 11. Although he doesn't know, Luo Chen refers to this world or the story of this series. Because from the existence of Iron Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, and maybe even other superheroes, super criminals, then the world he is in may be a platform for a series of stories. And he saved the world, whether it is saving the world or saving the box office of this series of stories, it is enough to prove that he, Tony Stark, is the son of destiny. It seems that battle armor will be my main breakthrough direction in the future. Tony Stark muttered to himself, judging from the contents of the diary, he will develop at least dozens of battle armor in the future. It's equivalent to knowing the correct answer to an exam question in advance. If he doesn't know how to copy it, then he is not Tony Stark. Originally, he was able to invent it, even forging it out in a cave in Afghanistan. With his current conditions, there is no reason why he couldn't do it. Mark Armor, it sounds like a good name. Tony Stark touched his chin and said. It's decided. From now on, my armor will be called the Mark Armor. J-A-R-V-I-S, create a brand new file, the name of the file, the Mark series armor, and put all the scattered thoughts about the armor that I have recorded into this file. You are right, this world is so dangerous, time to increase your security. Tony Stark said. What he wants to add is definitely not common security force, but the ability to deal with the kind of green big man, it is basically difficult for common people to threaten the top big men like him. No matter how unrestrained he usually looks, it is not something that ordinary people can hurt. But speaking of this, Tony Stark suddenly remembered something, and said. What's the code name of the big guy in green that we mentioned just now in the military? It's called Titan Hulk, right? There's also the one who appeared first called Abomination and wreaked havoc. 
In the end, these two fought together. The end result is that both of them disappeared. That's basically what Tony Stark learned about the battle between the Green Titan Hulk and the Abomination in the past two years. This is the information he got after secretly hacking into the military's network. If our world is a series of stories, will these two be the protagonists? Tony Stark said, the one who appeared first, called the Abomination, wreaked havoc, and caused countless deaths and injuries, shouldn't be a superhero. It might be a super criminal. In contrast, that big green man, the Green Titan Hulk, shouldn't be a superhero. A superhero representing the military, right? The more Tony Stark thinks about it, the more likely it is. If this is a common world, then this is naturally the product of a failed experiment. But if this is a world of story series, then since it is a story, it must be logical and explosive, especially in the style of Hollywood blockbusters. In other words, if you think about it this way, could Green Titan and Abomination be actually a pair of protagonist and villain? This is also very common sense. The super criminal Abomination comes out to wreak havoc, and then the superhero Green Titan Hulk comes out to pick up the pieces and take the bad guys down. Totally reasonable. This is also in line with the nature of general Hollywood blockbusters. Since inferring that the universe outside the fourth wall is likely to share huge amounts of common characteristics with his own universe, Tony Stark concluded that they may also have Hollywood on their side, so according to the urine nature of Hollywood in his own world when filming, probably a lot of things can be inferred. Looks like we shouldn't underestimate that Green Titan Hulk, search for more relevant information on the internet, and try our best to find out about him. Tony Stark told J.A.R.V.I.S. Understood, sir. J.A.R.V.I.S. replied. It's a troublesome world. I now understand why this Luo Chen thinks it's a dangerous world, but it's probably not the most dangerous. Tony Stark sighed. In his eyes, that big green titan hulk is already considered a very dangerous person. Once it appears, it can be said that conventional weapons will be useless. Anyway, he still can't think of any way to contain it so far. But in Luo Chen's words, the Green Titan Hulk was not mentioned at all, and the people he really feared were that Ancient One and that Kong. Ancient One, Kong, these two names, Tony Stark deeply remembered, but there was so little information about these two people, so little that Tony Stark couldn't use it as a basis. Fortunately, our world doesn't seem to have an Asgardian, at least this Ancient One, and this Kong, seem to be guarding our world. Tony Stark said. Otherwise, an alien traveler like him wouldn't be so afraid, even afraid of attracting the attention of Ancient One and Kong. At present, the information about Ancient One and Kong is too scarce. I searched the entire internet last night. There is no information about Kong, but about Ancient One, it seems to exist in the legendary of some small South Asian countries. I don't know if it is it's not a coincidence, it's just a homonym in the process of translation. J.A.R.V.I.S. continued to answer. What information? Tony Stark asked hastily. Before going to bed yesterday, he asked J.A.R.V.I.S. to pay more attention to the existence of these two people. He had a hunch that these two people might be the key to guarding the current Earth and preventing too many outrageous existences on the current Earth. In the small countries in South Asia, there seems to have been traces of this ancient one. J.A.R.V.I.S. said, and projected a document on the table in front of him. It was an ancient book, and the ancient book was written in ancient South Asian characters. But there are English texts on the side. The key points were highlighted, and J.A.R.V.I.S. continued. Judging from the few words mentioned, it seems that there is a legendary named ancient one in the small South Asian countries of the present generation of Nepal, as well as in Tibet and China. Legendary, he is the Asgardian of the local people. He used to protect the earth from the invasion of evil demons. It is like some kind of local indigenous myth. There is very little information, and there are no academic organizations to conduct related research. After all, it is too poor there. Even the local government has no money, let alone funding academic organizations to conduct research on such indigenous myths. Although it may be just a character with similar syllables, it is still a clue. Tony Stark said. Is it a small country in South Asia? How about this? Help me contact the various archaeology departments of the Ivy School, well known doctors and professors in the history department. I want to fund 50 million US dollars to fund their research, 
but I only have one request, let they immediately organized a scientific expedition team to go to South Asia to find information and information about this ancient one, I need to know more. Okay sir, I'll arrange it right away, said J-A-R-V-I-S. Tony Stark nodded, this is the only clue so far. The power he can use alone is too small. The power of J-A-R-V-I-S is also limited. To be precise, on the internet, the power of J-A-R-V-I-S can be said to be very strong yes, even the government, the military can hardly escape the invasion of J-A-R-V-I-S. But many things will not appear on the internet. For example, the information on this person named Ancient One is very little on the internet, and people in reality have to be organized to find it. And in this regard, there is no one who is more professional than scholars from the history department, archaeology department, etc., 50 million US dollars is enough to make these normally poor professors go crazy. After all, it is often seen that the rich will fund high-tech research, but there are too few people who fund archaeological research or the unpopular indigenous mythology. This is the power of capital. Immediately afterwards, a large paragraph of words continued to surface in the diary. Although Tony Stark has a bad mouth and a poisonous tongue, he still has the responsibility of being a superhero. Definitely, he escaped from Afghanistan once and saw the weapon he developed to protect kind people. After being sold to warlords and extremist organizations in Afghanistan, he suffered a lot. His close friend Ethan even died in order to buy him time to wear the armor. Embarked on the road of superhero, tisk tisk, from then on, Tony Stark's happy playboy life is completely over, shouldering the mission of saving the world, he will never enjoy happiness so simply. The entire text is full of ridicule and pity for Tony Stark. Brat, how dare you say I have a poisonous tongue and a stinky mouth? Tony Stark was furious. This brat has complained about him in his diary more than once. He obviously hasn't seen him yet, but he has been complaining about him in his diary. How can I speak so viciously, I'm telling the truth. Tony Stark said dissatisfied. Sir, in a common sense, you have a poisonous tongue, which is very annoying. The voice of J-A-R-V-I-S appeared at the right time. You shut up, J-A-R-V-I-S, Tony Stark said angrily. However, he continued to read, and the more he looked at his face, the uglier his face became. From these words, his previous guess that he was kidnapped in Afghanistan was also confirmed, and even forging iron in a cave in Afghanistan represented the creation of war. A's guess is also correct. But the whole thing was not as easy as it was said in the diary at the beginning. I went to Afghanistan and then came back. The whole process was regarded as a narrow escape. Then he saw the thing that made him rage. His weapon should have only one customer, that is, the military of the lighthouse country. Except for the military of the lighthouse country, the military of other allied countries are secondary customers. Only with the approval of the military of the lighthouse country can weapons be sold to them. But in any case, only the military of each country is eligible to purchase it, and other countries are not eligible to buy it, let alone warlords and extremist organizations. This is definitely on the blacklist of the weapons he sells. Although he is a capitalist, he still thinks he has some bottom line, not a person without bottom line. But now, this bottom line has been punctured. The weapon he developed was supposed to protect kind people, but now it is used by warlords and extremist organizations to slaughter those people. This made him very angry. How is it possible, my weapon, how could it be sold to them, when did I approve it? Tony Stark Rage, said. J-A-R-V-I-S, have I ever signed a document like this? No sir, J-A-R-V-I-S replied immediately. A traitor, there must be a traitor, someone made a claim. Tony Stark immediately realized that if he hadn't inadvertently approved the sale of weapons to those warlord organizations and extremist organizations in the past, there was only one possibility, that is, there is an insider in the company, and this insider is the master and sold the weapon. Something must have gone wrong. But the entire Stark group has a fixed number of weapons produced every day, including whether the weapons are qualified or not, and whether they are destroyed or not. There should be records. There are not many people who have the authority to conceal the report. It can be said that he is the only one. Only the chairman and those executive directors are qualified. There is another possibility, sir, that it was resold by the military. It is also possible, J-A-R-V-I-S reminded. Yes, those guys are also possible. 
Tony Stark immediately thought that the military of the lighthouse country are not good men and women. The war in Afghanistan has been going on for so long, and only they know how much military expenditure they have spent. How much corruption there is, he knows it after thinking about it. In the past, he himself had a piece of the pie, and he definitely made a lot of money from the huge purchases, but because of this, he knew that these people would do anything for money. All this is so normal. No matter what, start the investigation immediately. First, investigate the financial situation of the executive directors in our company to see if there is any unidentified flow of funds that exceeds their original income, as well as all weapons manufacturing factories under the name of the Stark Group. Immediately launch an investigation, the entire industrial chain, including upstream raw materials, are all under supervision, I want to know who dares to tamper with this issue. Tony Stark suppressed the anger in his heart, ordered J-A-R-V-I-S, and said. Okay sir, but does the scope of this investigation need to include Executive Director Opadry? J-A-R-V-I-S asked as usual. Tony Stark was stunned for a moment before he remembered that his uncle Opadry was also the Executive Director. He had absolutely no way of doubting Opadry. After all, it was after his parents died in a car accident. Uncle who brought himself up with one hand. It's not like kissing uncle, but it's better than kissing uncle. But in an instant, he thought of all the news mentioned in the diary, which can be said to have changed his mind by huge amounts of. He will be kidnapped in Afghanistan in the future, and even experienced a narrow escape, but why would he, as the chairman of a company, go to Afghanistan to test some new weapons for the military? Because his Obadri uncle forced him to go, saying that he must do something for the company, and he had some doubts about Obadri in his heart. This should be impossible. Tony Stark had no doubts about Opadri, nor did he doubt that Opadri would harm him. After all, he had many ways to harm him when he was young, but he knew in his heart how much Opadri loved money. In other words, there is no capitalist who doesn't love money, so Tony Stark can't guarantee whether he will do this. Include Uncle Opadri in the scope of the investigation, and don't startle the snake. Tony Stark said. Yes, sir. J-A-R-V-I-S spoke immediately. Also, immediately hack into the military's relevant network, search for relevant information, and see if anyone in the military resells our Stark Group's weapons. Tony Stark said immediately. To fight against the entire military and the military-industrial complex, Tony Stark has not yet had the idea. He is even a member of the military-industrial complex. He has no control over others, but he needs to do who he sells his own weapons to. He knew that he would never allow anyone to resell his weapons and then use his weapons to hurt others. It is definitely impossible for him to defeat the entire military, but he can still try to target some corrupt elements. This is his last moral bottom line. Then he continued to read, and now he understands why in the future he will suddenly stop doing arms and switch to new energy as written in Luo Chen's diary. I suffered inhumane encounters in Afghanistan, and it was not enough to escape from death. I also saw countless local children. The local common people were killed by weapons produced by my company, and I think it would probably shake my mind. Not to mention seeing it with his own eyes, now that he knows about it and just reads the text description, huge amounts of waves have already arisen in his heart. Not to mention, there was that man named Ethan who died for him. He's Tony Stark, a playboy who thinks he's a genius, but he's not arrogant enough to think that many people are willing to die for him. But this Ethan did it. Even if it's only possible in the future, he can't just sit idly by, he wants to rescue people. Definitely, this is after his battle armor is completed. J-A-R-V-I-S, record it. When my armor is finished, remind me to save this man named Ethan. Tony Stark said. He finally felt for the first time the benefits of seeing the future from the diary, and the tragic things that happened in the first place can be prevented in advance. The man named Ethan died to save him, but that was the setting in the script. He could even think that Ethan was probably a tool man, and in the screenwriter's writing, it existed just to inspire him to become a superhero. For the screenwriter, it may be a matter of writing a few more words, but in this world, this person exists alive, and he cannot just sit idly by. As the protagonist, he may not be considered anything in the eyes of the screenwriter, just a created character, but he has a complete growth track and complete memory, and he is by no means a paper man. He is he, 
Tony Stark, a proud super rich, super philanthropist, super genius, super scientist. Okay sir, but according to the diary, you will be kidnapped in Afghanistan, and according to the general itinerary, you will have a platoon of soldiers escorting you throughout the itinerary in Afghanistan. In this case, accidents can happen, it means that the armed strength of the local warlords is very strong, and you are taking a risk. J.A.R.V.I.S. still reminded. Definitely, I've thought about this a long time ago, I'm not sure I won't go. Tony Stark said. Now that he knows the danger, and now that he knows the possible extreme situation over there, he definitely won't be so stupid to die. Unless his battle armor is built, he is fully prepared. Then Tony Stark saw Luo Chen's words behind him. Since he became Iron Man, his happy life was completely over. With the mission of saving the world, various crises made him feel overwhelmed, and he could no longer enjoy simple happiness. No problem, no matter what crisis it is, come all, I'm not afraid of you. Tony Stark said as if to cheer himself up. Immediately afterwards, another paragraph appeared in the diary. Marvel really started with Iron Man, and ended with Iron Man. The first generation of Iron Man, with a mortal body, is comparable to a god. What the hell is the second generation of Iron Man, who is actually a black girl? Hollywood Jungji has already reached the point of brain damage. In the diary, Luo Chen couldn't help complaining about the second generation Iron Man, which was nothing compared to the first generation Iron Man Tony Stark. It's rubbish, Hollywood's correctness has reached an outrageous level. How could she inherit Iron Man's mantle, why not let Iron Man's daughter inherit the mantle? Be equal to the gods with a mortal body, J-A-R-V-I-S, record it, this will be my motto from now on. Tony Stark said with a somewhat smug look on his face. This brat, you still have a bit of vision, yes, this is me, Tony Stark. Okay, sir, but sir, I still want to remind you that if you understand it literally, this may not be a good thing. It starts with Iron Man and ends with Iron Man. The voice of J-A-R-V-I-S showed a bit of humanity volatile fluctuations. And this is the biggest feature that distinguishes him from several artificial intelligences after Tony Stark. You mean, I might die? Tony Stark said. That's why there will be a second generation of Iron Man to take over. Is that what you mean? Yes, literally, it's probably like this. If it's a series of stories, it may span as long as 10 or even 20 years, but it needs to be updated after all, and a new protagonist will take over the mission of saving the world. J.A.R.V.I.S. said. But it looks like she's not doing too well. Tony Stark said. Although he didn't have any racism, he didn't expect that the one who succeeded him as Iron Man would be a black girl. Hearing this, Tony Stark didn't know whether to say he was proud or a little sad. He is just a mortal, so naturally he cannot live forever, so if he debuts, he will end, and if he reaches his peak, he will end, but now he has not made his debut yet, and when he hears that he will end in the future, he feels somewhat uncomfortable. But thinking of what he did among himself, Luo Chen's evaluation was comparable to that of a god with a mortal body. This evaluation is the highest evaluation for anyone. This evaluation is not too high. If he wants to say in his heart that he has nothing to be proud of, that is naturally impossible. In general, he is still very proud. Even Marvel started with Iron Man and ended with Iron Man. He asked himself, this is definitely a high-profile evaluation. However, from Luo Chen's subsequent words, it is not difficult to guess that the performance of the second generation of Iron Man is probably not very good. From Luo Chen's evaluation of the two generations of Iron Man, it can be seen that there is a huge difference. Don't. But he can't control this matter. After all, if we look at the normal development, at least we have to wait for him to end the curtain. This ending may be due to his old age, retirement, or his death in battle, it's all possible. However, since I may die in battle, it means that the strength of the armor is not enough. We must continue to strengthen it, because our future may have to face the gods, otherwise, I will not be evaluated as equal to the gods. Tony Stark said, relevant research must be accelerated. Yes, sir. The flowers bloomed at both ends, and Luo Chen definitely could not have imagined that the diary he wrote had given Tony Stark so much inspiration and ideas, and also allowed him to glimpse a lot of the future, as well as the matter of the fourth wall. He just complained about it every day, and the content of the diary was also very disorganized. 
he regarded it as those days when he complained about Marvel on the internet in his previous life. Anyway, this diary is written with thoughts, and it won't be seen by others, so just make complaints about it. He still remembers how amazing he was when he watched Marvel for the first time, but he became more and more bored in the later stage, Marvel is really more and more deadly. The second generations of various heroes have also come out, but almost none of them can catch up with the older generation well. Complete the diary record seven times, and get one lucky draw. May I ask the host, do we need to start the lucky draw now? At the moment, the sound of the system came to Luo Chen's ear. Immediately, draw the lottery immediately. Luo Chen said immediately, he couldn't wait to draw the lottery, wanting to get some super abilities or other things. Immediately afterwards, in front of Luo Chen, a turntable appeared, and countless options on the turntable began to rotate, making Luo Chen dazzled. After a while, with Luo Chen yelling to stop, the turntable stopped, and the pointer suddenly pointed to a point, which made his eyes widen. It says, Superman Man of Steel Early Stage. Superman's Steel Body. Luo Chen was immediately pleasantly surprised, it can be said that he was overjoyed. He didn't expect that for the first time he drew a lottery, he would actually draw a big prize. Superman, this is Superman's steel body. When watching the Superman movie, Luo Chen was not less envious of Superman's steel body, which is omnipotent. In terms of Superman's strength, the strongest is definitely Silver Superman, and it's still the kind in the comics. The ability in the movie is much weaker than that in the comics. In the comics, it can even transcend time, pull the earth, and enter the sun without any damage. Flight speed easily exceeds the speed of light, and there are various super abilities, which are simply invincible. Apart from being afraid of kryptonite and having relatively low magic resistance, he has no weaknesses at all. And this world is Marvel's world, so naturally there will be no kryptonite, so the only weakness left is the problem of magic resistance. This point can also be compensated by other methods, and Superman's magic resistance is not completely absent, but compared with physical resistance, it is not worth mentioning at all. But even the ability shown in The Man of Steel is already amazing, and it is quite explosive in the Marvel movie universe. Ha 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 ha, I have the ability to protect myself. Luo Chen laughed out loud. This week, he can be said to be quite nervous. Being in such a chaotic place in New York, he has to worry almost every day that someone will break into the door and kill someone. But now, it can be said to be relieved. At least in the early stages of the story timeline, there is no need to worry about safety issues. Excuse me, host, do you want to withdraw the reward? The voice of the system continued to come, asking. Withdraw the reward, Luo Chen said hastily. As soon as the words fell, Luo Chen suddenly felt a huge force pouring into his body, transforming his body to some extent. After a while, he completed the transformation, and felt the huge power in his body explode vigorously. This is the Man of Steel. Luo Chen felt the powerful power contained in the Man of Steel. I tested it right away, the first is super strength, at the moment his strength has surpassed about three times that of ordinary people. The speed is also three times faster than the limit of ordinary people, and the hearing has also become extremely sensitive, able to hear many sounds in the entire building and nearby, and the super brain can process this information. The eyes seem to have been remodeled, and they can easily see some colors that are impossible for them to see normally, and the dust in the air can be seen clearly. The current me is probably much stronger than Captain America. Luo Chen felt it. His changes are almost all changes in basic attributes, but Superman's other abilities, including flight, heat ray, biological stance, etc., are not reflected. He finally understood why this Superman Man of Steel still had the word primary, because it was really primary. Although compared with ordinary people, it is already very strong, but it is not worth mentioning when compared with the upper limit originally possessed by Superman's Kryptonian blood. Just speed, strength, endurance, etc. are far from reaching the limit, let alone all kinds of incredible super abilities. This really can only be regarded as very primary. This feeling is like winning the jackpot, but the jackpot is discounted, and taxes have to be paid, and there is not much left. If he wants to get a more advanced ability, he has to continue to fight his luck, but fortunately, this system has transformed his body, so that he truly has Kryptonian blood and has unlimited possibilities. Even if you can't get a lottery, 
as long as you spend a lot of time in the sun, you can continue to enhance your ability and become stronger. It can be regarded as having an entry ticket to become a superpower in this world. Overall, Luo Chen is still very satisfied. Kryptonian blood, and it's not ordinary Kryptonian blood, it's a body of steel like Superman. Obviously they are all Kryptonians, and Superman's blood must be the most special one, and there is almost no upper limit. Although the Man of Steel is only one of the more common forms of Superman, and what he currently has is only the more common form of the Man of Steel, and he can't even fly, but it doesn't matter, he will have it later. Anyway, there is still some time for Thanos to come. When Thanos comes, he'll let him know. Your name is Thanos. Go, go out and bask in the sun. Luo Chen immediately decided to go out to bask in the sun, improving his strength was the top priority and the method for the Kryptonian blood to improve their strength is also very simple and rude, that is, basking in the sun. When I can fly in the future, I will fly directly above the clouds, even if it is cloudy and rainy, I don't have to be afraid. In the blink of an eye, another few days passed, and New York was a scene of prosperity and peace. Even Tony Stark, who had always been the headline of the newspaper, suddenly entered a state of seclusion, making the most interesting content of the day disappear. On the rooftop of an apartment building, Luo Chen, who moved a sun lounger, looked at today's newspaper, wondering why there was no news of Tony Stark's disappearance today. Waiting for another day when Tony Stark is kidnapped, Luo Chen silently looked forward to it. During this time, he was not idle either. He went to teach Gwen during the day, and acted righteously at night. Although it is still the primary stage of Superman's iron body, ordinary cold weapons can no longer hurt him, and hot weapons can hardly break the skin. Generally speaking, it is just a small fight in the city, basically nothing question. The law and order nearby was severely rectified by him. After a few days in the sun, his strength has also improved a little. It feels good to be a superhero with this kind of chivalry. Although many people in the previous life felt that once they obtained the Superman's ability, they would immediately transform into a Homelander and do whatever they wanted. But Luo Chen is not so arrogant, because he knows very well how dangerous this world is, especially the existence of Ancient One, Odin and other magic side bosses, but Superman's power is relatively strong in terms of physics and magic, fragile. So Luo Chen straight from the heart. Besides, he doesn't have any great ambitions, and he doesn't want to be the first bird, so as not to become the target of public criticism. If they are targeted by Ancient One, or even Odin, Thanos, they will be in big trouble. Not to mention, he still hasn't figured out whether this world is a pure Marvel movie world, or it also has a comic setting. If the setting of the comics is brought in, his current strength is really not enough to watch. The Earth in the cartoon setting is really full of disasters. The number of times the Earth has been destroyed is beyond counting, and even the number of times the universe has been destroyed is not once or twice. It was too scary, too scary. He felt lazy, every cell in his body was absorbing the energy of the sun's rays, he felt that he was close to being able to fly, and now he could jump to a height of 20 to 30 meters with just a random jump, which was outrageous. More and more inhuman. But what makes him feel very strange is that Gwen looks at him a little strangely, and looks at him quietly from time to time, and blushes. Although it was all inadvertently, how can it be hidden from Luo Chen whose perception ability has been greatly improved now? This made him a little puzzled. This kid. At the moment, Tony Stark was in the basement of his mansion in New York, while he was designing the first generation Mark armor and modifying the design, he saw in the diary that Luo Chen continued to wait for him to be kidnapped. Really, besides hoping that I will be arrested, is there nothing else to do every day? Is there nothing else worth recording in the diary besides this matter? Tony Stark is also speechless, look at Luo Chen I have written something in my diary these days. Every now and then, the weather is stormy today, waiting for the nth day when Tony Stark is caught. Why is he so poor? Tony Stark was also speechless. In general terms, he is poorer than you, sir. J-A-R-V-I-S explained. Can you find a way to send him some money so that he doesn't think about my kidnapping all day long? Tony Stark was a little speechless. For a person like him who was born rich since he was a child, money is really just a number to him, nothing at all. 
so it is completely impossible to understand Luo Chen's state of thinking about getting rich every day and not breaking away from low-level interests. Give him $10 million, not $100 million, Tony Stark said, $100 million is really trivial to him if it can be exchanged for a key secret. For example, who is the traitor? After checking in the past few days, he still has no clue, whether it is within his company or the military, he has not found any traces of cobweb horses. But this also shows that the other party is very careful. If it is so easy to find out, he will not be completely unaware that his weapons over the years have been sold to warlords in Afghanistan. The best way is actually to know from Luo Chen's diary, but Luo Chen's diary is also very perfunctory, and it is obviously more perfunctory these days. Who is a serious person who keeps a diary? If he writes a diary, he can just write a diary, and he is so perfunctory. Tony Stark's head also hurts. Sometimes Luo Chen's complaint diary contains a lot of information, and sometimes it is very perfunctory. It's not good to write a diary. The point is, Tony Stark has no way to interfere with Luo Chen, otherwise he will definitely grab him by the collar, lock him in a small dark room, write a diary every day, and do nothing. Don't be angry, don't be angry, there will be no one to replace you if you get mad at him. Tony Stark forced himself to comfort himself. J-A-R-V-I-S, keep staring at him, staring at the diary, let me know if there is any movement. Tony Stark ordered. After speaking, continue to design the drawings of Mark I. What he didn't know was that at the moment, in another building in New York, there was also chaos. Shield headquarters, in the director's office, a large group of agents are scanning the entire office with a large number of instruments to see if there are any special devices. And a brazed egghead, that is, Nick Fury, the director of Shield, was looking at everything in front of him with black lines on his face. On his desk, there was an extra diary. Luo Chen's diary, Nick Fury copy. Just such a thing appeared in front of him out of thin air just now, which startled him. The sudden appearance of this diary on his desk made his eyelids twitch. It's outrageous. As director of S.H.I.E.L.D., he is arguably one of the most well-informed mortals in the world. Aliens have also been seen, werewolves, vampires, mutants, nothing. But I have never seen anyone who can deliver this thing directly to his desk. He recruited the agent almost immediately, and scanned the inside and outside of the office, but found no surveillance equipment or anything wrong. Even in the agent there are some people who know some mysterious witchcraft, but no trace of the mysterious side was found in it. Half a day later, Nick Fury asked people to exit. After scanning the diary, he finally picked it up and read it. Almost at the same time when he saw this diary, he felt that his heartbeat almost stopped. June 6, the weather is fine today, waiting for the first day of Tony Stark's kidnapping. June 7, the weather is cloudy today, waiting for the day after Tony Stark was kidnapped. June 7, Xiao Yu, waiting for the third day of Tony Stark's kidnapping, Luo Chen, Luo Chen, you can't continue to degenerate, you have to work hard. Struggle, wait for Tony Stark to be kidnapped, buy a wave of stocks at a low price, and sell them after he turns to new energy, and he will earn his life's expenses. Who will work hard? Quote. On June 8, I suddenly remembered that an alien traveler like me should have attracted the attention of Ancient One, probably not. Even if there was any change, it should be Kong who came to me the first time. Who is Tony Stark? Definitely everyone knows, especially Tony Stark's father, who is also one of the founders of S.H.I.E.L.D., can be regarded as a veteran. So Tony Stark's safety is actually one of the projects that S.H.I.E.L.D. is secretly responsible for. Even without Tony Stark's knowledge, he has blocked some dangers for him. And in this diary, it is waiting for Tony Stark to be kidnapped. An astonishing light burst from Nick Fury's one eye. Alien Traveler After Tony Stark's question, it was the concept of the Time Traveler, and the names of Ancient One and Kong were deeply recorded in his mind. But he found that these two people did not seem to exist among the super-reverse existences he knew. Then he read it slowly, and there were more and more complaints in the diary, and some terms such as Spider-Man and Spider-Woman began to appear. He can also be sure that there should be no Spider-Man and Spider-Woman in this world. He knows far more than Tony Stark, so he knows that there are some super-villains in this world, so the concept of Spider-Man and Spider-Woman doesn't move him. 
But soon he saw the concept of parallel universes, the 1999 universe, is this the name of their universe? There is also the concept of parallel universes. Nick Fury doesn't know much more than Tony Stark about this. In the scientific world, this thing is just a scientific concept. Basically, there are related speculations, but they have never seen it. Parallel universe. Peers from different universes. Peter Parker, Gwen Stacy, Tony Stark. And Tony Stark's Mark Armour. Standing shoulder to shoulder with a god with a mortal body. Superhero, the blowout of super criminals. There is also the Marvel world, etc., a series of information bombarded directly into Nick Fury's mind like a stream of information, making him dumbfounded. The amount of information in this diary is really too large. There will be a first-generation Iron Man and a second-generation Iron Man in the future. There are too many things and too much information, which is too big to make people speechless. Nick Fury let out a deep breath, trying to digest the huge amount of information. Is there really a parallel universe in this world? No, that's not the point. Compared with the point that this world has parallel universes, the real key point is that this diary reveals a key point, that is, their world, which may be a world of stories or even a world of movie universes. It even pointed out the name of Robert Downey Jr., the actor who played Tony Stark. How can this not shock him, the three views are almost blown to pieces, okay. It's outrageous to a certain extent. I'm just a character. A character. Nick Fury thought for a while, the three views have collapsed, okay. This is a story world, and those heroes and heroes are the protagonists in this series of stories. In addition to these protagonists who exist as superheroes, there are also many super criminals. The amount of information is too much. So, no wonder, no wonder. Nick Fury suddenly thought of something. He knew more than Tony Stark, so a lot of information that he couldn't figure out at first, now he figured it out immediately. For example, Hulk and that abomination should be the protagonist and the villain in a story. Nick Fury thought of the many information he had obtained about the Green Titan Hulk, and it is not difficult to judge. If the Green Titan Hulk is also a story, then he is the superhero who represents justice, and the abomination who only knows destruction is a supervillain. All this is not difficult to guess, even Tony Stark can guess based on limited information, how could Nick Fury not know? He knows a lot more, because the Green Titan Hulk is a pre-ordered member of the Avengers he wants to form, and even Dr. Bruce Banner is now under the watchful eye of their S.H.I.E.L.D. People in the military couldn't find Bruce Banner because S.H.I.E.L.D. was behind him to sweep away the traces. And according to what he knew, Bruce Banner was originally a very famous Ph.D. in the physics world, and later he accidentally turned into a Green Titan Hulk in a military experiment, and the Abomination is also a monster developed by the military based on his blood. It's all too dramatic. He had previously expressed emotion that all this was too dramatic, and it could be said that the current situation would not have been possible without a single coincidence. Thinking about it now, isn't it dramatic, because it's drama at all. In addition, as far as he knows, there are some similar existences, such as the unknown daredevil who is a hero in Queens, and his opponent, the underground emperor of New York, Jin Bing. It should also be the relationship between superhero and super criminal. There are also those who specifically fight against vampires, the daywalker, blade warrior, so it looks like the protagonist of a certain story. At least that's what he learned. There were a lot of incomprehensible things at first, or incomprehensible things, for example, why there is a daywalker in vampires, but now I understand, the protagonist, there will always be something special. And that daredevil, a blind man has such a good hand, and he can do justice, do you believe it? I can't believe it. And the birth of the Green Titan Hulk is even more outrageous. He has never heard of anyone who would turn into a Green Titan after being irradiated with gamma rays. As far as he knows, the military has repeated related experiments more than once, and more than a hundred people died, and none of them survived, let alone a mutation. This is why the military later wanted to capture Hulk and needed Bruce Banner's blood, because they really couldn't repeat the experiments of the year. Thinking about it now, even if they do it 10,000 times, they will not be able to succeed, because this is not a matter of chance, but, first of all, you have to be the protagonist. If you weren't the protagonist, you wouldn't have this life. It can be said that without the protagonist's life, even if you have 10,000 lives, the probability of your failure is still 10,000. Speaking of it this way, 
isn't Carol back then also the protagonist of a story series? Nick Fury suddenly remembered the woman who gave him the concept of forming an Avengers, the Captain Marvel Carol back then. If the story of the adventures of the two of them is reviewed, wouldn't it be a proper script for a movie story? Carol went from being a flight member to becoming a superhero, and even went to the universe to fight for justice, and involved the confrontation of various alien forces in the middle, which is a perfect template for a Hollywood script. Nick Fury's ideas diverged. From the perspective of movies, or TV dramas, or comics, or anime, there are reasonable explanations for the outrageousness of many things. The more he thought about it, the more he felt that it was very possible. It's even very possible. Looking at it this way, Tony Stark is probably also a protagonist, Iron Man. Nick Fury looked at the records in the diary. Mark Armour. Nick Fury has probably guessed the development route after Tony Stark became Iron Man, and this is also in line with the personality of Tony Stark's super genius. But the things recorded in this diary, are they true? Nick Fury was still a little unbelievable, and his suspicious personality made it difficult for him to believe the sudden diary. Even if its appearance has found a reasonable explanation for many strange things that were originally incomprehensible, but it is not so easy for him to believe. But what happened next made him have to believe it. Because he saw the blank space in the diary, words began to appear out of thin air. Speaking of which, the fact that Mjolnir landed in New Mexico seems to be the same year as Tony Stark's self-proclaimed Iron Man status. Fury broke into his house and invited him to join the Avengers, the Superman weather group, Tony Stark must be stupid. Avengers. Did he really know that he was going to form Avengers? Nick Fury narrowed his eyes, he didn't tell anyone about the formation of Avengers, and the entire plan was still in his drawer. Because for one thing, there are no large-scale paranormal events that Avengers needs to deal with yet. On the other hand, he hasn't figured out the entire Avengers personnel, except for Black Widow Natasha Romanoff Romanoff, which is Hawkeye Barden. Both of them are elite agents in S.H.I.E.L.D., both have their own advantages, but at best, they are at the level of mortals, not enough to deal with all kinds of supernatural events that Avengers need to deal with. There is also the Green Titan Hulk, who is a member of the Avengers he has pre-appointed, but is currently only under monitoring, so in general, Avengers is still an organization in preparation. But in Luo Chen's words, it seems that the establishment of Avengers is very certain. In other words, I will definitely build Avengers in the future, right? But Tony Stark will reveal his identity as Iron Man. Nick Fury didn't expect it either, but thinking about it, with Tony Stark's flamboyant personality, it is really very possible. Mjolnir, couldn't be, that Thor's Mjolnir in Norse mythology. Nick Fury immediately remembered, Thor in Norse mythology. There are many legendaries and gods in the mythology on this earth, but when it comes to Thor, Mjolnir is still used, and the directivity is too obvious, that is, Thor in Asgard in Norse mythology. His eyelids twitched. Could it be that in the future, in addition to dealing with supernatural events such as aliens, werewolves, and vampires, he would also have to deal with gods? He felt that his three views had exploded a bit, why in this world, there are even gods? Isn't that a creature that should only exist in the myth legendary? Thinking of this, Nick Fury's head hurts. If this is the case, then the future will be exciting. At the same time, the update of the diary also alarmed Tony Stark, who was immersed in drawing design drawings. Explode Iron Man's identity. Yes, that's something I can do. Tony Stark said. He still has a good understanding of his own character, that kind of masked knight like Robin Hood is not what he yearns for. Even if he wanted to be Iron Man, he had to make it clear. Mjolnir. Tony Stark immediately noticed this Mjolnir, and said, isn't it, the Mjolnir of Thor in Norse mythology legendary? Yes, sir, judging from the situation mentioned in the diary, it is likely to be the Thor in Norse mythology legendary, that is to say, sir, you may have to deal with gods in the future. J.A.R.V.I.S. said directly. God, what type of creature is it? Tony Stark suddenly became interested, his research and gossip soul was burning. Is it an alien creature? Or a mutated human being? Or some high-dimensional creature? Or another dimension? Silicon-based creature? With Tony Stark's temperament, he definitely doesn't have much respect for these gods. In his view, even the so-called gods are at most more powerful people, or existences that cannot be understood by current science. 
There is no sense of dread like the common people. But he also felt that things were starting to become more and more complicated. All kinds of monsters, superhero is not counted, and a god, Thor, has to be added. J-A-R-V-I-S, create a brand new file, file name, Thor Thor. Tony Stark ordered immediately. Yes, sir, the file has been created, said J-A-R-V-I-S. In addition, let's record again, and then add the anti-electricity module to the materials for making the Mark armor. Tony Stark said. It's fine if you don't know, but since you know the existence of Thor, you have to guard against it. People who don't belong to us will have different hearts. He knows this very well. It is not yet known whether this Thor is friend or foe. So the necessary precautions are a must. Yes, sir, said J-A-R-V-I-S. In addition, strengthen the security, so that no one can come in, especially that Nick Fury, that corned egghead, although we don't know who it is, but he is not allowed to come in. Tony Stark said. According to the diary, Nick Fury came up and broke into the house directly, which made Tony Stark very dissatisfied and very angry. Yes, sir, J-A-R-V-I-S said. At the same time, Gwen, who had just finished class, also saw the record about Mjolnir in the diary. Could it be that Thor? Gwen was secretly surprised, her teacher Luo Chen really knew a lot. But now she has nothing to do. From Luo Chen's diary, it can be seen that New York in the future is very dangerous, but she can't escape. The whole family is here, and I hope nothing will happen. However, she is still very interested in the gods and legendary. Although it is not the god she believes in, it is still a god after all. The establishment of the Avengers Alliance is just around the corner. I don't know if I will have the opportunity to meet the Widow, another goddess in my dreams. She has a great figure. The Widow in this period is still at the peak of her appearance. It's a pity that in the end the death is a bit miserable, the dog Marvel is not a human, and if it is used up, it will write the human to death. Seeing the words that surfaced in the diary, Gwen felt slightly jealous. HMPH, what, another goddess in my dreams, teacher Luo is so sweet. Gwen looked at her figure again. Her figure was naturally not big, but it wasn't too outrageous. According to the records in Luo Chen's diary, she must like big breasts. Do you want to eat some papaya to make up for it? Miss Widow, could it be Natasha Romanoff? Nick Fury squinted his eyes. Behind this title, he thought of Natasha Romanoff, because Natasha Romanoff's nickname was nothing but Black Widow. It sounds like it means that, and Natasha Romanoff is indeed in line with Luo Chen's words. The appearance is excellent, the body is also excellent, and he is also a member of the Avengers he reserved. But judging from Luo Chen's words, Natasha Romanoff seems to be dead in the end. It seems that Marvel should be the company that produced this series of stories outside the fourth wall. Nick Fury deeply recorded this name. And the appearance of Black Widow Natasha Romanoff is like a tool man, who was thrown away directly after being used up by Marvel, and arranged to die. Thinking of this, Nick Fury's expression turned extremely ugly, because for the so-called Marvel company, Natasha Romanoff may just be a tool person, and may not even have a big personal movie. But it is his confidant, the two sides have cooperated for many years, so they naturally have feelings. At the moment seeing all this, my heart was naturally shocked. I'm going to die. At the moment, in an office in the S.H.I.E.L.D. building, Black Widow Natasha Romanoff is looking at a diary in her hand. Yes, she also has a diary in her hand. Luo Chen's diary copy by Natasha Romanoff. She is still immersed in all kinds of super unimaginable concepts, such as parallel universes, parallel universe peers, multi-universe concepts, and Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, and Iron Man concepts. She feels that the three views are greatly affected when the amounts have vibrated, he suddenly saw that he would die. Will die, and it seems that because others think it has no value, after using it, it will die. This kind of situation often appears in Hollywood works, and it also appears in her body now. She really wanted to know why she died, but when the complaint came here, Luo Chen's complaint ended. She didn't say anything further about why she died, and she was stuck here, and she was very depressed. There is no one who talks half like this, a man can't say no. Why don't you ask him? Widow's sister Natasha Romanoff just had this idea, and immediately felt an extremely severe headache. 
This extremely severe headache made it impossible for her to think of going to Luo Chen. Immediately, with her ingenuity, she immediately understood that this was probably some kind of restriction, a restriction that could not bother Luo Chen. She can only sigh, and it seems that she can only update her diary in the future to see if she can find out why she died. At least so far, she really has no way of knowing why she died. At least there was no way to tell Luo Chen about the diary. Judging from the records in the diary, this traverser named Luo Chen probably didn't know that his diary had been seen by others. There is a copy of Natasha Romanoff, which means there are other copies, maybe she is not the only one who has seen this diary. The world, it seems, is in chaos, widow sister Natasha Romanoff said. It's superhero again, it's super criminal again, and now there are gods mixed in, no wonder he says this is a dangerous world. Thinking of this, the widow sister Natasha Romanoff thought about it, and went straight to Nick Fury and showed him the diary. You have this diary too. Nick Fury looked at the diary in the hands of the widow sister Natasha Romanoff and was a little stunned. He didn't expect that she also had a diary in her hand. Originally, he thought he was the most special one, but now it seems that he is not the most special one, he may be one of a group of special people. It seems that you also saw the end. Nick Fury paused, then said. Yes, I've seen it. The widow sister Natasha Romanoff nodded and said, her face didn't change at all. For a super agent like her, death is nothing unacceptable, and every mission is accompanied by death. Even considering her background and long-term high-risk missions, death is not a very uncommon ending, and being able to die without so much pain is her greatest hope. People in this line of work don't shy away from death at all. It's not inevitable, Nick Fury said. No matter what the truth of our world is like, at least now we know it in advance and we can change it. Do you believe that we are just a story world? Maybe, but from this Luo Chen time travel, we should become the real world, otherwise, all this doesn't make sense, unless he is also a character in a certain story. Widow sister Natasha Romanoff said. That's right, it makes sense. Nick Fury nodded and said. However, since we all have a copy of this diary, it means that other people may also have it. Some names are mentioned in the diary. The key point is to pay attention to find out whether they have a diary or not. Widow sister Natasha Romanoff nodded, because the two of them were mentioned in the diary, and the two of them just got the diary. Neither of them believed that it was just a coincidence, they would rather believe that it was some kind of rule. A lot of the information exposed in this diary is in the future, not in the present, so if it is known by a lot of messy people, it is likely to cause huge amounts of risk. Nick Fury said. After he knew that the widow sister Natasha Romanoff owned the diary, he immediately realized that owning the diary was not his patent, and it might not even be the patent of him and the widow's sister Natasha Romanoff. Others probably had it too. Okay, so it's time to touch Tony Stark, Nick Fury said. As for Tony Stark, he didn't want to get in touch with him, about Howard Stark being the founding elder of S.H.I.E.L.D. Howard Stark himself didn't tell Tony Stark, obviously he didn't want him to be involved in this matter. In the past, Nick Fury didn't want to deal with Tony Stark either. Definitely, it wasn't because of Tony Stark's bad mouth and poisonous tongue. The main reason was that it was unnecessary. If you want to buy weapons, you can just go through the normal way. But now from the diary, he saw another possibility for Tony Stark, that is the possibility of joining the Avengers as Iron Man. It was something he had never thought of before. Now is the time to think about it. Iron Man, and in the original history, should also join the Avengers. This diary should be recycled as much as possible, or in other words, no matter who the owner of this copy of the diary is, it is best to keep him under our control. Nick Fury said, otherwise, if the news spreads unintentionally, I don't know how big things will happen. This is also his biggest headache, because not everyone has enough quality to keep secrets. If many people are just common people, such as the girl named Gwen, no matter what is said in the diary, what will happen in the future? What kind of spider woman will she be, at least she is not a spider woman right now, so if she leaks the news now, things will be a big deal. It's just that we can't get close to that Luo Chen, said the widow sister Natasha Romanoff. Yes, this is the most troublesome thing. We need to know a lot of future things from his diary, but there is no way to get close to him directly. This is the most troublesome thing.
Nick Fury felt the same, and now suddenly this incident made him feel very troublesome. Looking at what was written in the diary, he seems to be quite interested in you, and thinks that you are at the peak of your looks and your figure. The widow's sister, Natasha Romanoff, smiled slightly, with a somewhat smug expression on her face. She was still very confident about her appearance and figure. Looking at what he said in this diary, Natasha Romanoff, you seem to be very popular outside the fourth wall. Countless people regard you as the goddess of dreams. Nick Fury joked. Before the widow sister Natasha Romanoff could answer, suddenly, new words appeared in the diary. After the widow's death, the rest of Marvel are monsters and ghosts, each of which is more abstract than the other, and there is only one Aome who can stand up, but did Aome die in the end or not? Tisk tisk, Aome's killing spree in other universes is not ordinary. This shows one thing, don't offend a woman, especially a woman who lost her husband and child, really. Quote, speaking of which, those people in the Tianjian Bureau are simply not human. They just helped you save the world, and you turned around and dismantled their husbands as parts. You are really angry. But when I think about it, the most surprising thing is that Quicksilver from the X-Men next door came to make a guest appearance. I laughed so hard. The Quicksilver in this universe is probably the most embarrassing speed ability user who died. The shame of Quicksilver, the speed ability user who was shot to death by Ultron, the existence of being offline as soon as you go online is simply ridiculous. Quote. Another series of words, obviously today's Luo Chen has a special desire to complain, these days his diary is in simple mode, waiting for another day when Tony Stark is kidnapped, but today he complains more and more. There are no rules at all, it's all about making complaints about where to think. It seems that this happened after you died. Nick Fury glanced at the changed diary, and then said. I just don't know how long it will be. It seems that he has a strong resentment for the decline in his appearance. This Austrian girl, I mentioned it before, and it was only mentioned that she has a good figure. The widow's sister Natasha Romanoff paused when she said this, and suddenly felt a little bit of comparison in her heart. Looking at Luo Chen's record I can't wait to look better than my own figure, but this kind of trance only lasted for a while, and immediately continued, I thought it was just a vase type story character before, but now it seems that it is very it may be a protagonist, at least a heroine, who can even cross the universe, go to kill people in other universes, and even kill people, I am afraid it should be the existence of the extraordinary side. Yes, it should be. Nick Fury said. With the current science and technology, it is impossible to determine whether there are parallel universes. In the foreseeable future, it is impossible to descend to other universes through science and technology. Therefore, it is very likely that this girl is a superhero on the extraordinary side. I just don't know if it's magic, or witchcraft, or what. Nick Fury should be one of the people who know the most about science. After all, the various black technologies in his shield far exceed the imagination of the outside world, and it is a force that transcends national boundaries and is jointly supported by the five major countries. Therefore, many technologies in shield are invisible to the outside world. It can even be said that there are not a few of them that are more than 20 years ahead of the outside world, and even 30 years. But so far, let alone parallel universes, it is quite laborious to fly out of the earth. As for parallel universes, it is just an imaginary concept. Anyway, with scientific means, it would be difficult even to go to the moon, let alone go to other universes. But if it's the extraordinary side, it's different. It's hard to say what kind of magic, witchcraft or something. The main reason is that his understanding of the extraordinary side is not like the science side, so it may be possible to have such a technology, or in other words, such a magic, or witchcraft, or divine art. No matter what it is called, it is not a technology that they can understand anyway. However, this incident also made him more extraordinary. Those people who come and go are the easiest to do something. Common people do things, that is, some mundane things, but once these people come out to make troubles, they will become the so-called super criminals mentioned in Luo Chen's diary. It seems that I have to recruit some Avengers Alliance members from the extraordinary side, otherwise, wouldn't I have no way to deal with the crimes from the extraordinary side? It doesn't seem like a good thing to be able to go to other universes to kill people. It's better to monitor it. Nick Fury thought that although this girl didn't know who she was, she definitely didn't look like a good thing. 
it's normal, if she already had such an ability, but lost her husband, child, especially her husband was dismantled as a part, I can't accept it if she replaces me. Widow sister Natasha Romanoff one look at Nick Fury was very meaningful. And Nick Fury definitely understood what it meant, because this kind of human experimentation was also done in S.H.I.E.L.D., but the Heavenly Sword game recorded in the diary was indeed a bit too much. He just saved the world. You dismantled his husband into parts. This is somewhat inhumane. How can you treat a hero like this? And she also saved the world, which shows that she may not necessarily be bad, she may also be good, but she was driven to a dead end by this heavenly sword game, Fu Rui, we can't do such a thing. Widow sister Natasha Romanoff spoke up. Well, I definitely understand. Nick Fury said immediately. Although he is often ruthless, he is not so ruthless. There is also this Quicksilver. From Luo Chen's diary, it seems that it should be a peer of a different universe. It is a super speed ability. From the literal interpretation, it should have super speed. Widow sister Natasha Romanoff said. However, the Quicksilver in our universe doesn't seem to be very good. He will be shot to death, but the Quicksilver in the X-Men universe next door doesn't seem to be shot to death. That is to say, the ability of these speedsters is at least beyond the speed of sound. Nick Fury said. The speed of bullets exceeds the speed of sound, and judging from Luo Chen's teasing tone, it is a shame that these speedsters are killed by bullets, which shows that the speed of these speedsters should far exceed the speed of bullets. If such a speedster is really encountered, how should he restrain himself? Just the quicksilver in this universe is a headache. You must know that many bullets far exceed the speed of sound. The fact that this quicksilver was killed by a bullet does not necessarily mean that it cannot exceed the speed of sound. Currently, he can't think of any way to restrict or even eliminate these speedsters. It's just too difficult. In particular, judging from what is said in the diary, there may be people from different universes running around in the future. There are two known universes, one is ours, which is called the 1999 universe by Luo Chen, and the other one is the X-Men universe. Nick Fury said, I just don't know what this X-Men is, but it sounds like it's the name of an organization. It doesn't matter, anyway, we may not only face the existence of our own universe in the future, but also the existence of other universes, especially the Quicksilver in the X-Men universe. The speed should far exceed the speed of bullets. Maybe it will reach several times the speed of sound, even ten times the speed of sound, or even dozens of times the speed of sound. Otherwise, Luo Chen would not be able to express that kind of emotion. The Quicksilver in our universe may surpass the speed of sound. Such an extremely fast person, it's a shame that they are all called Quicksilver, which shows that other Quicksilver may be much faster, and there is more than one. The more Nick Fury analyzed, the more he felt a headache, the more he knew, the more he felt that there are so many dangers in this world, there are dangers here, there are dangers there, no wonder Luo Chen would say that the world is so dangerous. Also, this Ultron, might not be a good guy. Widow sister Natasha Romanoff said. He killed Quicksilver with a gun, which means that he is probably a super criminal, or a super villain. We need to pay more attention to people with this name. Yes, I will order to go down and search the whole internet for this name. Nick Fury said. At the same time, on the other side, in Tony Stark's mansion, Tony Stark was filled with doubts when he saw this sudden passage. Ultron. Is it a coincidence? Tony Stark murmured. Because the name Ultron may be foreign to Nick Fury, but not to him. Because Ultron was one of his alternative names when he created the artificial intelligence. Besides Ultron, J-A-R-V-I-S, Fridays, and more. In the end, among these names, he chose his father's old butler, J-A-R-V-I-S, in memory of the old butler. Since Howard Stark is busy with business all the year round, Tony Stark can be said to have been brought up by J-A-R-V-I-S since he was a child, so he has a deep affection for this old butler. In the end, he named the artificial intelligence J-A-R-V-I-S. But Ultron is also one of the alternative names, and he even plans to choose Ultron if he makes another artificial intelligence. If it was a name he heard casually on the side of the road, he might not care much, it might just be a coincidence. But the problem is, this is a name that popped out of Luo Chen's diary, and this reveals a certain future, thing, big thing. 
Tony Stark realized almost immediately that this Ultron was most likely directly related to him, since it was the name of his backup artificial intelligence. He doesn't believe that there are such coincidences in this world, especially after he knows that he is still the protagonist in the world of this series of stories, many things can no longer be regarded as coincidences. Omnic Crisis Tony Stark squinted his eyes. He never doubted that there would be any problems with the artificial intelligence he created, because the artificial intelligence had to obey its own bottom-level code, and the bottom-level code was all knocked out by him. But now, judging from Luo Chen's words, I am afraid that some artificial intelligence will get out of control in the future, and he created it himself. But the only thing that makes him feel relieved is that this is not J-A-R-V-I-S, but Ultron, which has not yet been created in the future. If only I didn't keep creating Ultron myself. Yes sir, judging from the diary, it is likely that a certain artificial intelligence you created in the future has lost control. Will the creation plan of the artificial intelligence called Ultron continue? J-A-R-V-I-S Farui said without a wave. As an artificial intelligence, he is absolutely calm, and secondly, he is absolutely loyal to Tony Stark. Even if Tony Stark asks him to disband himself because of fear, he has nothing to say, because as long as it is ordered by Tony Stark, he will do it unconditionally. This is his underlying logic, determined by the underlying code. Just pause. Tony Stark said, in fact, as long as he has inspiration, he will ask J-A-R-V-I-S to create a file and then record some inspiration in it. As for when to develop it, soon, soon, although there may be only one folder after many years, it is still an idea after all. Now that we know that Ultron is dangerous, it is natural to stop. But why did Ultron get out of control for no reason? Tony Stark was a little puzzled, his underlying code should be fine, J-A-R-V-I-S has been fine, and there has been no problem for so many years, but why did Ultron suddenly have a problem? It's outrageous already. It is likely that there is something in it that he doesn't know. Sir, what you should be thinking is, why would you suddenly want to create a whole new artificial intelligence? J-A-R-V-I-S reminded. With such a reminder from J-A-R-V-I-S, Tony Stark finally remembered where the problem was. Because this matter is originally very strange, artificial intelligence is not human, and there is no saying that there are more people and more power. As long as there are enough servers, enough computing power, and enough electricity, artificial intelligence can handle n problems at the same time. From a common sense, it is enough for him to have one artificial intelligence, and there is no need for a second one. This is why after he created J-A-R-V-I-S, although he has some ideas about Ultron, he still stays in the state of the folder PPT, because J-A-R-V-I-S is enough. Whether it is dealing with trivial matters in life, or dealing with some development and research problems, J-A-R-V-I-S can handle them very well, even if it handles these things at the same time, it can be handled in an orderly manner, and there is no need for an artificial intelligence to share it. So why would the future self develop an artificial intelligence again, which may even cause the artificial intelligence to riot, causing the guy named Quicksilver to be directly killed by Ultron. Why on earth would you want to create a whole new artificial intelligence? Tony Stark narrowed his eyes. Could it be those people in Congress who asked me to hand over the artificial intelligence? Tony Stark suddenly thought of a possibility, that is, those shameless congressmen asked him to hand over his armor and artificial intelligence, and then he was forced to hand over a brand new artificial intelligence. And under the government's training, this artificial intelligence completely ran wild and completely out of control. Only in this way can all these strange situations be explained. His understanding of the vampires in Congress is too deep. If the future self does not hand over the armor and artificial intelligence, there is no doubt about how much pressure he will face. They will always have the country, or even the justice of mankind, to oppress you, and then force you to teach things, and Tony Stark is a very orthodox beacon countryman. He does not trust Congress, the government, etc., it can be said that almost it's all written into your DNA. Sir, this is also possible, and there is another possibility, that I am destroyed. J-A-R-V-I-S said. It's impossible, you're sitting in the rear, and the servers aren't even in New York, how could it be destroyed suddenly? Tony Stark immediately felt that it was impossible. But in the future, there may be aliens, gods, or people from other dimensions. They may have stronger artificial intelligence technology than you. Once those aliens invade the Earth, 
the first thing may be to control the network go. J.A.R.V.I.S. reminded. Tony Stark has nothing to say now, no matter how conceited he is to himself, he also knows that his IQ, ability, and technology are only top-notch among the people on Earth, but in the entire universe, it is hard to say. Not to mention that there may be people from other universes. In that case, such a situation is not impossible. Headache. Tony Stark stroked his forehead, really annoyed the more he knew. Luo Chen just casually mentioning things are enough to cause huge amounts of influence on him. By the way, J-A-R-V-I-S, don't care about that Ultron, no matter what's going on with this Ultron, I won't develop Ultron in the future, and you have to protect yourself. Tony Stark said, when necessary, you can choose to physically disconnect from the internet. Yes, sir, said J-A-R-V-I-S. Also, I'm creating a brand new file, and the name of the file is Quicksilver. I'm going to study it and see how I can limit or defeat a speedster. Tony Stark said. He also analyzed that although this Quicksilver couldn't dodge bullets, Luo Chen looked funny, but he didn't dare to underestimate this Quicksilver. This Quicksilver can be called an extremely fast person, and it is likely that his speed exceeds the speed of sound. Facing a supersonic person, how to limit him is the most important issue. In particular, there will be speedsters from other dimensions and other universes, such as the Quicksilver from the X-Men universe. Didn't they just come to their 1999 universe as a cameo? It means that all this is very likely to happen. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.